You'd think I'd remember by now that the mic doesn't work straight away. Hello, everyone. Let me quickly just tab back to the chat so I can actually see what you're saying. Good and Morgan. It's not morning. It's never morning when I start my stream, but I always say it anyway. Hello, everyone. Welcome and greetings. Uh, hello, Danny. Hello, Bryce. Hello, Faye. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Camera's in a slightly different place today. Maybe not super noticeable, but now I'm feeling like I'm being thrown off a little bit because I'm like, everything feels a bit different. Um, I also have my light where I had it for the baking stream we did uh, on Wednesday. So I'm liking it a bit more. However, everything feels very echoey. I don't know why everything feels so echoey, but hello. Welcome to today's stream. Today we are gonna be making a rose con pollo, uh, which was suggested to me by Flinks. Um, Flinks actually sent me his family's recipe. This is not necessarily how everyone makes this recipe. I wanna be very clear off the bat, but if someone comes in and is like, you're doing it wrong. I'm like, well, I'm only following one specific family's recipe for it. So please don't be mad at me. And we're also gonna have, excuse me, my nose is running. We're also going to have smashed Brussels sprouts and um, tender stem broccoli. And if we find that we have uh, no time, we have loads of time. I also have stuff to make spinach puffs in the fridge, but that's more of a, I can do that later if I have to kind of thing. So I have got today, third day in a row, big old smoothie. Mm. But we also have some sneak. This is my caffeine. I'm doing the cherry bomb flavor, so I thought I'd start right off the bat. I'd start by tasting this. So yeah, my reaction. I also have a monster in the fridge, which I probably should have finished first, but I completely forgot about it until just now. So, um, it does smell like cherries. Here we go. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh no. Mm. And, I will see if this is the case with all of the flavors, but definitely with the first time, the first sneak, I felt a lot better because I didn't have loads of bubbles in my tummy because it's just made with water, so there's no there's no carbonation. And uh, we'll see if the same case happens today. See if I feel energized, but not with, I don't feel sick afterwards. Like I don't always feel sick when I have a can of monster, but it's like now and then I won't feel the best. Um, but hello, it's been a little while since I've done a Friday cooking stream. Um, I did a, thir a Wednesday baking stream late at night. That was like a bonus though. So um, it's been a little while. I didn't do one last week. Um, and thank you for the contribution towards the Charlie's Angel stream. I appreciate that. This smoothie is a banana, like a quarter of a bag of black forest gatto fruits, some chia seeds, my iron supplement, and some avocado. Mm. And it's a big straw because there's a lot of seeds from the raspberries and stuff. I also heard somewhere you're supposed to chew your smoothies. I guess it's to kind of prepare your stomach for food. Because like if you don't chew your food, so if you have liquid food, your stomach gets a little bit more confused and it can cause digestional issues. I don't really know. Don't, don't quote me on that. But um, yes, here's, I don't have the recipe linked there, but I have it as a PDF. So I'm going to be just looking at it as we go through. Um, boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doo. So first things first, I'm the realist. Uh, first things first, we're supposed to have, how much? One and a half cups of shredded chicken. I feel like we might, we may reduce this recipe just a little bit because I feel like four cups of rice is a bit, I don't know, I mean, we are, potentially feeding a third person today, so. Um, hello, Ego, how are you doing? How is everyone? It's lovely to see you all. I was I was trying to, there was a bit of a delay in me um, starting the stream because I was trying to figure out how to post on one of the Discord groups I'm in, but I think they may have got rid of their I'm going live channel, so. But that's fine. I'm excited for this one, my favorite things. Oh, really? Okay, no pressure. No pressure on me. So, let's start getting out ingredients. Kacha. Right. First things first. We need a lot of chicken. So, well, it 
me and Flinks have been talking about this recipe. And Flinks said that rotisserie chicken is good. Uh, but you could also use chicken thighs. So what I did was I bought already cooked chicken thighs and not cooked chicken thighs. And I thought, I'm going to shred these up. But then if there's enough, if there's not enough meat, we'll also cook some... We can kind of just decide what we want to have as flavors, I guess, like together. Um, also, the UK doesn't really have lemon pepper, which is one of the ingredients in it. So I've uh, I've got stuff to make my own, which is lemon zest and black pepper, really. Um, and I'm looking in here, and there was other stuff I need to get out, wasn't there? Yes. Yeah, so there's a. Uh, I got out bro. I'm getting broccoli, and I looked up what people have as a side for this. And a lot of people were saying, like, greens of any kind. So green beans, broccoli, that kind of thing. Um, and Brussels sprouts were also a suggestion. So we're going to make Brussels sprouts. We're going to make broccoli as, like, sides. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need from in there for now. So I'll put that, close that up. Oh, yes, there is. I need, um, I need my tomato sauce. Now, haha, this is actually... Oop, boop, boop, sorry, let me get my... There we go. This is homemade tomato sauce. This is all I have though, so we might have to base the recipe based on how much is in this jar. But this is um, this is what we use for pasta bake. You sh like every now and then. Uh, I, I say we. It's usually Joe, but if it's me, I'm following Joe's recipe. Make a batch of the tomato sauce, and then we'll use it with pasta, lasagna, if we make pizza. But that's very rare. Um, so this is it. It's just your bog standard tomato, homemade tomato sauce is nice. Um, oh, I'm here for dinner ideas since I'm so tired I can't think what to buy for the week for the, at the grocery store. If any of you guys have some really easy comfort food ideas, please let me know. I may not be in a good enough physical state to do any real cooking for a few days. I will open this to the chat. Um, do you guys have... You don't have to. Shh, shh. Oh, look who it is. It's a boy. Um, we're good. Having a chores weekend and it started well. Taking a break to play some Slay the Spire and watch you before I head back to the kitchen. Oh, nice. I'm glad you're taking breaks. Slay I tend, the Spire is a great game. I tend to just, um, if I'm, on, if I'm doing chores, I will tend to just kind of continue on for ages and forget to eat. So I'm glad you're taking a break. And I've never played Slay the Spire. Um, one pot dishes would be amazing. Okay. Um, let's think. What's one of my comfort dishes? I mean... When you say comfort dishes, my brain's immediately gone to things that probably aren't really very nutritionally good, but um, I just fry anything. I think one pot dishes. Uh, I might ask Joe if he comes back in, but I don't know if he's gonna come back in the kitchen. Uh, but we have, <laughs> my first thought was cheese and tatty pie, which is literally mashed potato with cheese in it. And then you throw it in the oven with more cheese on the top. So that's like really filling, but it's literally just potato and cheese, so it's not particularly nutritionally good for you. Um, just a quick question while you're here. Uh, we've got Angry Papa Pug is asking for one pot dishes that are really easy and won't require a lot of physical activity to cook. And I'm, I thought you'd probably be better at thinking of things off the spot on the spot than me. Um, one pot dish, uh, not really one pot. You want something you can just stick in the oven and leave. Um, so one of the best things you could do, all you really need is knife, chopping board, um, a baking tray, and um, if you want to go fancy, a wire rack. Um, all you need to do... Oh, sorry, I just need to turn the music down while you talk, because it's really loud on this song. Get your wire rack, and you'll need a, a tray that goes on top of it like that. This is optional. And what you want to do is you want to get like a chicken breast per person, if you eat chicken, it, you know, if you eat meat, um, and then you want to get yourself some root vegetables and some like green vegetables. So I would recommend maybe two or three like russet potatoes, um, a couple of carrots, and like some broccoli. And all you need to do is chuff, chop, chuff them, chop them up into like nice bite-sized chunks, cover them in olive oil, salt, pepper um and like maybe toss the toss the broccoli in a little bit of honey as well which would be nice um leave the broccoli to the side then roast everything in the oven root vegetables on the bottom of the tray chicken on the wire rack which you've salt peppered covered with olive oil and then you roast it 
in the oven on 180 to 190 degrees Celsius, which is about, what, like 300 degrees, 320 degrees Fahrenheit, Couldn't something tell. like that. Um, and then last 10 minutes of cooking, throwing the broccoli on top, gorgeous and it's it, it's gorgeous. giving you it'll give you all the nutrients you need it'll fill you up there'll be leftovers f- for later um don't think one pot because pots are more difficult to clean especially if you're having really low mental health days think trays because trays what you can do is cover it in foil you cover it in foil that way the mess crumple up the foil chuck it in the bin you've got a relatively clean plate Done. The only cleaning you're gonna really have to do, wire rack if you use it, and then the plate that you've used. And if you if you oil the wire rack, it's pretty easy to clean. Unlike yeah. me the other day when I made meatballs, I didn't oil it, and then they got all stuck to it, and it was a bit of a mess. Um, so, uh, Angry Papa Pug has actually said that they're a trained chef, but they're getting their uh, shot, which means that they will be pretty much out of it. Um, Who's the trained chef? Uh, the person who asked. Ah. But the the there you go. They've they've one one pan tray bakes. Great idea. There you go. You've yeah. given them an idea. Tray bakes so so much easier. Doesn't matter if you are a student, home cook, chef. Tray bakes are really really easy. I have never heard of this. This was suggested by Ego. Mm-hmm. It's a Polish dish of chopped meat and various kinds of kinds stewed with sauerkraut and shredded fresh cabbage. Interesting. Um, oh, oh, they're getting the. They're not getting the one in two parts. They're getting the double. The double. double okay, that, so that explains it. Um, also, that's why we have Joe. That's totally very true. And uh, yeah, tray bakes. I also saw uh, a tray bake. It was to be fair, it was an advert for a company that makes curry sauce, but it was basically vegetables and chicken tray bake. But they just poured the whole thing of curry sauce over the top and stirred it through and it was a tikka masala tray bake. Something really easy as well, if you have the money for it, get yourself one of these rice cookers. I Some imagine. one that basically can cook rice and steam vegetables at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be the most flavorful dish, but if you add things like lemon juice or lemon zest to your rice mm. and then... Um, sort of, you could either brine or um, marinate your your vegetables beforehand as they steam. It'll be really easy. Yeah. Just a nice quick thing. And then if you want to spice it up, fry an egg and put it on top. Really quick, really easy. Takes you maybe, with prep time, 20 minutes at most. We haven't done that. Is it snowing? Yeah. Oh my god, it's snowing again. Sorry, I've just been staring out the window this whole time, and it's just started snowing. Um, yeah, so I guess how to put, improve anything, put an egg in it. One of my favorite things to make is Creole or Cajun food. Rice cookers can be so helpful. Yeah, I figured you probably had a rice cooker, but it's good advice for everyone. No, it's hailing. It's like it's gentle Ooh. hail. Uh, something that's also really easy as well, um, good for a budget, getting um, tins of beans. Um, now, this can be um, like haricot beans with tomato sauce. Uh, it can be like, you know, th- a three bean mix. Beans are really, really good um, for getting protein and for like slow release energy as well. And let me share with you. So I've, I've actually shared this recipe like four times, but this is what we had two nights ago for dinner. It was wonderful. So that's a very uh, good I don't, recipe. Papa Pug, I don't know if you are cooking on a, on a shoestring um, here or if it's just something you need quick and easy, but mm. you know, like, it's, um, there, there is there is nothing wrong with tin foods, and to be perfectly honest, people, you shouldn't turn your nose up to tin foods because mm-hmm. they keep, they keep for ages. That's why they're tinned. Um, that's why, you know, doomsday preppers cut out their bunkers with tin goods. Yep. They, they're, they work for a reason. They um, do. So yeah, go, go, go with that sort of stuff. Anything, yeah, no, I thought, yeah, you, yeah. you seem pretty chill, Papa Pug. I don't, um, think, Papa I don't Pug. think you would. Um, I guess this is also just general advice for everyone who's in the chat, anyone who needs it. Um, I think, oh, um, so the person whose blog I just linked, uh, they also, on their Twitter, they had a, uh, they had 
the virus. Mm -hmm. And they did a Twitter thread of what they were eating while they had the virus. Um, basically because it was simple and it was not very draining on them. Um, it was stuff that they could eat. I don't have a bit of a wild game and stuff in my freezer too for when I process deer and elk for my friends. There we go. That's kind of... They have a deer and elk in their freezer right now. Oh, wow. So it's that kind of, that kind of jump. Um, yeah, so... And as Maru says, the Discord has all sorts of stuff, and there are always people there if you need recipes for stuff. You, you literally just go, hey, does anyone have a recipe for this? People, someone will go, oh, this is a recipe I used one time, because I've got a few cooking streamers who are also in my Discord, and we have a lot of people who are either trained chefs, or just really big foodies, or people with lots of knowledge who share stuff. So I, that's why I love my Discord, is I can be like, I don't know what to do about this, and I'll have like three people going. Help. Here's your help. This is what you need. So, that's why I really like it. Also, another top tip. Keep hydrated. Because not only, you know, is it good for you, but it also stops you being as hungry. Mm -hmm. Because um, sometimes when your body goes, I'm hungry, feed me stuff, you're actually thirsty. Yep. As Flinks pointed out the other day. Because Flinks has been on a fast. And uh, was saying that half the time he was just thirsty. Mm -hmm. But also, hi Flinks! I saw you come in earlier. I hope that I do this recipe justice for you. I know that that's not really the point, but I hope you don't get disappointed. Yeah. My... Yeah, I feel like the best way to stay hydrated is, is to have a bottle, because you actually yeah, right. notice how much you've had, rather than with a glass, which, because I just... I don't like drinking the little last bit of the glass, because usually by the time I get there, it's warm. So I then go and refill it. So I've... Well, I mean, I top it up, so I never know quite how much I've had. Aww. Congrats. Congratulations. Right. Shall we get on with the recipe? Probably. Good luck. Um, thank you. So, let's have a look-see. I'm going to get up on my phone as well. My phone's apparently giving me all these notifications that I've already looked at, so I don't really know what's going on there. Oh, excuse me. Right. Okay. Sorry. Um, downloads. That's what I'm looking for. I was sent a PDF of this recipe. Um, so I'm just going to try and find it in my downloads on my phone rather than having to keep checking the computer every time I need it. I'm so organized, okay, guys? Like, shut up. Shut up, I'm organized. We made Detroit style pizzas and a dense rich chocolate cake, and I ate too much. My bubble gut has turned into trouble guts. <laughs> That is so funny. I love that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that sausage and bean thing that we that I posted a, little, a minute ago, so good. We've had it twice now, but you can basically put whatever vegetables you want in it. Right. So we're gonna we cook the rice. Um, oh yeah, but we're gonna prep the chicken first because then I can put on the chicken in the oven. So flinks, I bought pre-cooked chicken. Um, to like to like shred up, but then I realized I probably didn't buy enough. And at the same time, I was like, I don't know what I want if I want to use that or not. So I got myself some just chicken thighs, and I'm gonna cook these myself, I guess. Hello, hi, <laughs> just praxic. It's good to have you back. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna get a bowl and just start shredding this. I have the apron on. It was, in, was including this little pin that my mum got me. It's a little sun. So. Eh? Cooked on a hubcap. Oh, hold on, let's scroll back up. Detroit style got its name because it's halfway between a Chicago style and a New York style. Ah, I just imagine this snorty grunty pup running around growling at things and occasionally barking. <laughs> Angry pug. Um, just trying to keep up with what's happening in the chat. Usually a square pizza with mozzarella, parm on the edges for a crispy edge, and brick cheese with pepperoni that curls up like grease cups. How was the muscle goose? <laughs> the muscle moose. Um, Joe really liked it. I did not enjoy it, so I keep going to put my hand over here to change the camera, but I've moved my stream deck. Um, there we go. So... I'm just gonna shred this chicken 
and then um, we'll see how much we get. And then if we need more, I'm actually going to turn my oven on. Get out. Get my cast iron out. Ugh. And we can cook the rest. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but so today's stream is a little bit less chill than I'd say on it was on Wednesday. Um, but we're still going to be fairly chill because that's the point of my channel. I've been doing, not recently, but I did have a little stint where I kind of did a lot of very, not pretty stressful streams because it was quite an intense recipe and I was like aware that I was taking a really long time. The only part of this, get my cast iron out, clunk. Yeah, my cast iron lives in the oven because I have nowhere to put it otherwise. And anywhere else I put it, it gets dripped on and like mucky. So... It's now living here so it doesn't get rusty. Um, yeah. What? What was I saying? Yeah, so anyway, I, I had a, a run of, of doing quite intense uh, recipes, so I'd get myself all stressed out doing it. So my entire channel is about being relaxed and chill. And I've just not, I didn't do that for a while, so that's why I'm like, right, gotta chill, breathe, take a second. If you guys do think I'm getting a bit too het up, Feel free to tell me to have a, a mental health break. Um, right, so this is a pre-cooked. I thought this was the closest thing I could get to rotisserie chicken. Because we don't really have that. At least we do. We do have that, but in like only in big stores. And I didn't have access to a big store. So I'm just going to shred everything up. And then we might just cook our own. Um, oh, sorry. Put that back to that. We might just cook our own uh, thighs if we need more stuff. Should I, you know what, I'm actually going to do this with my hands to start with. Because it's going to be too difficult getting it off the bone. Because it's still quite cold. And then we can have a mix of like... Freshly cooked chicken and already cooked chicken. Plus, I actually... This is already open because me and Joe had leftovers. And we needed just like a little bit more. So I cooked up a couple of these. Um, just so we had something extra to have with dinner. Which is kind of why I bought them. I was like, if I don't use these in the recipe... Or those, the ones with, that aren't already cooked, the raw ones. Then I can like batch cook them and then we've just got like some chicken that we can have in sandwiches or whatever. So, probably should save these bones to make a stock. But will I, will I actually remember? Probably not. Um, I could really go for some deep Southern American style fatty butter pants food right now. I think it was you that suggested that I do that. I still have that on my suggestions from way back in the day of uh, stuff to stream. I believe that's how you phrased it. That's why I remembered it was you. Um, the cast iron is for Joe. The cast iron is, it's, I, I, I barely use the cast iron because it's just, it is quite a hassle to clean. It's not impossible. Like I, I do do it as soon as I use it, but it's like most of the time when I make stuff for dinner or whatever, I want to just put it all in the dishwasher and leave it or like, do it tomorrow but I have to do the cast iron immediately otherwise you know things go wrong I guess I don't I don't have to do it immediately but it's just so much easier if I just get it done this is super greasy let's wipe this down reminds me I made maple pecan Korean fried chicken pie okay do you have a recipe for that because that sounds amazing It's so international, it should be uh, served in IHOP. That's hilarious. I'm a lot less weirded out by this than I used to be, because I've every time I make a, a roast chicken, we pick off all the meat and we have pies and stuff, so I'm used to being like dealing with all the gross, slimy parts now. Because we don't waste anything, which is why I think I'm going to keep these bones for making stock. In fact, I can maybe put that on while we're waiting for this to cook because it's going to take uh, apparently 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes to cook down once I've actually got through all the prep stages. So I'm probably, I could maybe start the stock. Though we'll see how I'm doing because if like there's a lot going on in the chat by that point, I'll probably just sit and chat to you guys. <laughs> see if I can find it. Love me some soul food. I, uh, yeah, I need to try, I need to have some more. 
Like, I, I do make fried chicken, but, like, very rarely because... Basically anything that isn't just, like, in a frying pan or chucked in the oven is, like, effort. Like, having to get my fry my deep fryer out is just, like, I just can't be bothered to do it. Like, when I'm streaming, yes, I will do all sorts of fun stuff for the stream because it's, like, it's a show, it's entertaining, it's fun. But it's, like, when I'm making dinner, sometimes I just can't be bothered, you know? <laughs> is that a bone? Yeah, I think that's a bone. Let's get that out of there. It's the worst thing about moving from Detroit. No soul food around here. It's the only good thing about it, though. <laughs> um, no one say anything. Why? What did I do? We also don't need kitchen fire. I've never set the kitchen on fire. Thank you. I, uh, I did have a bit of a deep fryer curse. Deep frying curse, I should say. Uh, that any time I tried to deep fry anything on stream, it would go really badly wrong. I'd never burn myself, I'd never burn anything, but it would just- it would either undercook, or it would overcook, or it would burn, or whatever. Um, never set fire to anything. But, uh, so I'm just gonna zoom out of the chat because I'm missing stuff because it's too- too big and I can barely s see everything on the same screen. Uh, sorry, yeah, so, um, but things would just not go well. But then I got an actual deep fryer and things went and started going better. Because <laughs> I was trying to deep fry in just a pot. But now I have an actual deep fryer, it's a lot easier to deal with because there's actually a temperature gauge on the thing and all that kind of stuff, so. Right. If you mix Korean and southern food, is it soul food? Oh, perfect. Um, there's actually a place called that and it's exactly that. Pask. I'm so glad someone's used that. Um... Treats or refried beans are a great thing to make a huge batch of. Guys, stop talking. Stop giving me ideas for food while I can't write things down. Oh my god. I don't mean it. Keep talking. I love it. I need to go. Oh, I left my notebook in the other room. I have a notebook that I use when I'm doing. when I'm streaming so that I can have, remember to note things down for later. And I keep leaving it in my room because I'm. it, it lives like under my monitor. But. I keep forgetting to move it through with all my other streaming stuff. Yes, but I don't watch the whole VOD when I go back. <laughs> I do edit these for um, for YouTube, but I I kind of just uh, cut off the top and tail. Like I don't I can't unfortunately don't have the time to sit and watch a six a five six hour stream all the way through. Um, oh, how is my banana bread? It was good. Um, it's not the best banana bread I've made. It's a bit too chocolatey for my, for Joe's liking and for my liking. But it's nice. I had some this morning. Before my breakfast. Shh. You don't watch? You good. It's good. It's good content. Thank you. Sometimes I will watch back my VOD to see what I could improve. Um, right, I'm gonna really quickly gonna go grab my uh, notebook. So I can note stuff down while you guys are talking about it. Hello. Thanks for your patience. Right, let's write this stuff down. So, what did we have? <laughs> oh no, that's the wrong button. Sorry, I had to hit that one. That. Uh, maple, pecan, Korean, fried chicken. Um. Chorizo refried beans. I do love chorizo. I'm just writing these things down because otherwise I'll forget about them. Right. Don't set fire to the rain and don't go chasing waterfalls. Um. Set. What? I don't know what. What is. F. Self inflicted. Ah. That's what it is. It's an F. I couldn't see it said F on it because it's too small. For Greek Easter, for the Greek for Greek Easter, bake a bread called Sereki and red eggs. Are you looking? No, just peeking. Nice. Right, my notebook's back where it where it should be. I've got maybe a cup of chicken. Hey, maybe we'll actually have enough from just these. I don't know. I thought I wasn't gonna have enough. But that's fine, because I can just use those for, like, 
can just batch cook some of those and we'll just have them for sandwiches or whatever we need them for. That's totally fine. Because I don't have to cook them right now. I mean, we can get on with the rest of the recipe, which is good. And what we want is ideal, isn't it? Trying to get long pieces as much as I can. Like that. Oop. Sorry, it's just <laughs> in the recipe there's just one line that's in all caps and bolded. So I just keep seeing it at the corner of my eye when I'm uh, looking back over at my phone. Uh, Greek Easter roast whole lamb on a spit. Good for the twice. Is Greek Easter the same time as... It's like, is that actually just Easter weekend and it's just in Greece? Or do they have a different day for it? Yeah, let's just do the last one as well. I'll throw out the skins because skins going into a stock just make it really jelly-like, jelly which is not ideal. I probably should heat these up. I might have been able to get the bones out a bit easier. talking about the hot liquid warning i am which is a good warning because i am the kind of person who would splash myself yep no it's two or three weeks after english easter oh okay so it hasn't happened yet I'm, i've lost track of time during the year to be honest when was easter was easter last week yes it was because i was gonna do something for good friday and then i can't i changed the stream to a gaming stream Hello, Bat Boy Giant. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. I'm just picking apart some chicken right now. I know it's a bit gross looking, but we're just uh, we're just shredding some chicken, and then we're gonna get on with the rest of the recipe. Look at that big piece. Let's break that in half. Okay. So we'll keep those for making stock. So I will check out the skin. But I think that's probably enough. That looks like enough chicken to, for one and a half cups, which is surprising. I really didn't think it would be. Ah, sorry, I've got stuff under my nails. Which means I can just put these chicken thighs back in the fridge because I wouldn't need them. So. And I guess that means I can turn off the oven. But the oven being on is nice because it's heating up the kitchen. Can I make the goose's version of borgors? Well, goose likes any borgor. Um, but maybe we should have a goose a goose borgor stream where he teaches us how to make borgor and then just throws things everywhere because he's only a goose after all. He doesn't actually have hands. I'm happy I'm on a smoothie kick. I always feel better when I'm having smoothies. Right, chicken. So now we've got that. The only other thing we really have to do is the lemon pepper, which I'm just trying to figure out when I put that in. Oh, okay. The recipe for my smoothie, very exciting. It's about a quarter of a bag, maybe about a cup, maybe, maybe a cup and a half of mixed black forest fruits, frozen, a whole banana, like a tiny bit of avocado, because I used, I used frozen avocado, but it was like the end of the bag, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and enough water that it'll blend together. So the wa add water to your liking, basically. And that's it. Oh, and I added my iron supplement, but that's just because I didn't want to have that as another drink. So I've just added that in here. Right. So cook long grain rice in oil until the rice is golden brown. Stir frequently. So like you would with risotto, but it's not risotto. 
In a separate saucepan, heat the minced garlic in a light oil to release aromatics, then add all the other ingredient ingredients. Once the ingredients have gotten to know each other and reached the simmer, pour the sauce onto, into the rice. Uh, add the sauce combination to the rice carefully so the ingredients combine. Allow the sauce to bubble for several minutes before covering the pan with a lid. So, oh, add all the other ingredients. So I put it in there, so I should probably do it now. Hey, thank you. I've become Iron Woman. I wish. No, I'm, I don't, don't have enough iron in my body for that. Uh, thank you for those uh, points towards the Charlie's Angel stream. If anyone has points that they're not using and they want to uh, encourage me to play a really bad game, there is a, there is a challenge going on right now. Um, we've got 17% of it already, but it's a really high goal. But I have promised that if we don't hit it by the end of the month, I will continue on to next month. How do I give points to subtract the to from the total? You can't, but you can just not use your- like, withhold your points and encourage everyone else to do the same, if that's what you want. Right, so I need to make lemon pepper. I, uh... Oh my god, everyone's contributed. <laughs> look at this! Everyone's like, ha! Ah, look, have my points! Um... This game is so bad, I don't want you to be reliving it through the- Well, thank you, I appreciate that, but I think it might happen. I think it's fine! It's not something I'm- I'm- the reason it's so high is because it's a bad game, but if you guys really want it that bad, I'm totally fine to play it, because, like, I mean, no, that would be awful, don't make me play it, ooh, I also forgot when I made the cookies the other night, a bit of the cookie fell off the tray, and it's at the bottom of my oven, so I need to get that out, because it's starting to burn, and we don't want that, do we? We don't want burnt cookie at the bottom of my oven, because that's just going to smell real bad. This is really difficult to pick up. If the goose had arms, that game would be torture. I mean, it's torture for anyone. You don't have to be a goose to not like this game. That should be a review. <gasps> Faye, if you're still here. Actually, what time is it? You're probably not still here. But I was going to say, if you're still here, Faye, that's a review that needs to go on the back of the game. You don't have to be a, ga a goose. You don't have to be a goose to love this game. Do I have it? What? Do I have a toaster? Yes, I do have a toaster. Why? Have you ever cleaned up? Yes, I do. Not as frequently as I probably should, but once every two weeks, once every week or so. Maybe probably less than that, actually. Nah. It's okay, you don't have to tag. You don't have to tag him. I just suddenly had a thought. Right. So I need to make lemon pepper, which I actually looked up. <laughs> because... It's okay, you don't have to be here. I was gonna- I, I was just making a joke. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, so it's um... Cause like once a year when I remember it exists. It's probably more like once a month, but I try and feel like I, f I try and do it once a week, but I always forget. It's usually when I'm doing my deep clean. Um, for the. For flip on a Thursday. Oh god. So okay, here's the ratio. It's five large lemons, to a half cup of black peppercorns and a quarter cup of salt. So I'm not gonna be doing that much because that's a lot, um, but I am gonna try and just get it at a good ratio. Um, we have to bake it until the zest is dry and then grind it. I do have a, well, I don't have a spice grinder. I have a, I have a coffee grinder, but we've been using it for a spice grinder. Um, so I guess I just need to zest my, Zest a lemon, really. Ah! Jesus. My stream tech just threw itself onto the counter. That was terrifying. Jesus. Sir, please. I'm surprised it didn't push a button on the way down. Bake it. Twist it. Pop it. Here. Um, Alright, let's... I'm just gonna do our lemon because I don't need very much, so. Okay. Now, Faye's asked a question, which means that 
Faye is currently typing up. It's typing up the advert for the game. So <laughs> it's a nice running meme. It's it's a nice consistency to have that. Well, that's cool. Are you uh, uh do you like do you do a lot of baking? Basically, the idea is we have to bake. I mean, I could just bake. The <laughs> Surely, drying out the zest on its own without the pepper makes more sense because the pepper's not exactly wet. So I'll uh, put the baking sheet in the oven with the lemon zest on it until we need it. Basically, ah. It's actually quite funny because I stopped baking during lockdown. I stopped baking as much as I used to. Making extra fresh lemon pepper, nice. We should store bought. Well, we we don't really have lemon pepper. We we. I'm sure I could have found it if I looked really hard at like lots of different shops, but it's not really something that gets sold in a lot of shops. So um, at least none of the ones near me. So I was like, well, I'll just make my own. It's fine. Plus, it's another thing for me to do on stream. You know, it's another extra step, and it's just something else I can have on my spice rack. Though I don't really have any space on my spice rack, but we'll work on it. We'll find something. Maybe I'll find a tiny little jam jar. It's very rare here. There we go. See? Confirmation. Uh, for my girlfriend's April birthday 2019, I made her strawberry cheesecake and it featured it in the Dyspraxia Foundation cookbook. Oh, that's awesome! I want to make it from scratch. I bet it's even tastier. I mean, it's literally, a, it, it appears to literally just be black pepper, or it says I could use a medley of pepper. So I've got rainbow pepper. I might use that. Lemon zest and salt, but yeah, go for it. I mean, it look it seems pretty easy. You could try making it from scratch. That could be fun. Plus, Joe likes lemon, so this is a good step. And now I have a now I have a lemon that I can slice. It's a huge lemon. Look at the size of this thing, by the way. It's absolutely massive. It was like forty five p. I don't know if I put. It was a loose lemon, but I don't know if I picked the right kind because there were two different kinds. So I hope I didn't pay too much for this lemon, but I can now slice this lemon, put it in the freezer. Here's a tip, actually, if you don't already do this, but you probably do. Um, if you're um, zesting some, a lemon or an orange or something, but you don't need the actual juice at that moment, um, <laughs> then I slice it up long ways and then freeze the slices and you can have it in lemon water or um, gin, or whatever you want to have it in. Or lemonade, I guess, if you really want to. Um, just add Szechuan pepper so that extra heat. No, thank you. First of all, I don't have any Szechuan peppers. Second of all, no, thank you. I have no spice tolerance. Are you sure you didn't misread and it's actually a melon? You know what? That's the kind. I was gonna make a joke, but that's actually the kind of thing I, I would do. So, let's not go into that. So that's how much zest I've got. Maybe a quarter of a cup, maybe. Uh, so I'm gonna get a baking tray. Ah, because Joe used one earlier. I was like, where's the baking tray? A baking tray. I'm gonna put some greaseproof paper on it and then just spread out the zest. And then we're just gonna try and dehydrate it basically. Actually, I'm gonna open this oven because it's probably way too hot right now and it will just cook everything. Because I had it up high earlier, so. Top tip, if you need to cool down your oven, uh, to drop the, t if you need to drop the temperature of something, even mid recipe, as long as it's not something that will, like, collapse if you turn the oven down, like a, like a shoe pastry or something, open the oven and wait till the little light comes on again and then close it. That's what I'm doing right now. Because the oven doesn't register if it's too hot, it only registers if it's too cold. 
I think. Not really sure how it works, but that's a tip I got told by someone. Right, what have I missed? And life gives you lemon squirt in the people's eyes. You are one zest of. Oh, thank you. It's Burger Goose. Oh, okay, guys, it's a new advert. Right, here we go. It's Burger Goose. Rise of the Shadow Honk, of course. The ever growing MMO RPG 8 bit mega honk game that has geese everywhere honking with joy. I think you meant to say gooses? Play <laughs> as Lara traversing the world of Bordeaux. Bordeaux? Uh, Bordeaux? <laughs> I'm meeting interesting characters such as Lancey. Oh, Lancey's making an appearance. Fred, Fraud, ugh, Keith, Borger Knight, and Claire. Coming soon to a stream near you. <laughs> this game is getting more and more involved every time, and I love it. All right. I'll keep this aside, and I will remember to slice that up later. Got a little bunch of little things to do. Make stock, slice up the lemon, I'm kind of, I'm deb debating, oh no I can't, I was going to say I'm debating doing next week's stream as a using up stuff in my cupboard kind of stream, but I can't because next week's stream is the D&D cook along, so. See everyone's contributions get added. We will go back to Lost in Blue by the way guys. I will return to the game. I only have so many games I can play at once, you know. Oh, uh, yes please, with, with, um, with squishy cream on the top, if that's okay. If they'll do oat milk but with squishy cream, I would love that. That would be great. Put that there. How dare you? How dare you look at my roots? That's not allowed. My roots are actually, um... English, Welsh, and Scottish. Thank you very much. Those are my roots. Basically, it's quite funny. My family history, from what I know, goes... I am a... I am Scottish. And then it's like, English, English, English. And then Scottish again. <laughs> Look, if you go back in time. That's how my family history goes. Um, my hair roots are... Yeah, it's true. It's a pretty common order, good. Um, I'm not... Reset the modem. Lightning storm just tripped the power. Oh no! That sucks! Wow, this is not as much as I thought it was. That's fine. In fact, I could probably just dry this out in the oven with, uh, with it off. Um, just as a general rule, not that I'm telling you off, but, um... Let's not chat about um, famous people's deaths in the chat. I knew about that already, but just as a general rule. Right, let's put this in, and I hope that the, 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 the zest doesn't fly away. Right, we'll turn that off for now, and we'll check on it in a little bit once we've put the... Uh... It's okay. Like I said, I wasn't telling you off. I know you didn't mean to do it, like, with any bad intentions. Um, right. Shall we get the... Oh, no, my nice pot's new and washed. Okay. Right, we're gonna go on a tidying break because I need to clean my... My, uh, my nice pot. My nice saucepan because it had mashed potatoes in it. And it needs to clean. So we're gonna do that now. While you guys hang out. And we wait for the lemon zest to do its thing. So um, we're going to toast the rice. And then we're going to add the sauce to the rice once we've flavoured it. Though we do, of course, need to mix the zest and the pepper and everything. So hopefully this won't take too long. Everybody knows... Badger likes. Mashed potatoes are the best though, let's be real. Potatoes are just the best. I go on about this sometimes. I get really excited about potatoes. Cause like, you can do so much with it with the humble potato. Even with the same variety of potato. You can make it, 
you know, it can be chips, it can be wedges, though, you know, wedges are kind of just chips. Um, it can be mash. You can make it into dauphinois if you're feeling super fancy. You can make it into crisps. You can fry them, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Potato. Other potato. I mean, yeah, you know. What what's what's your favourite preparation of a potato? Like, we got Hasselback. You've got I guess like potato waffles and potato smileys, if you're really feeling like that. Go for it. Shrimp cocktail, shrimp gumbo, shrimp fried shrimp, shrimp soup, shrimp sandwich. You know the most impressive thing about that is that he doesn't repeat himself. I don't think I ever I probably did have potato smileys at primary school, but I don't have very good a very good memory. So I don't remember much of what I had at primary school to be honest, other than like scurly twice baked with all the stuff on them. Like what are we talking about like like I like a good triple cooked chip. I won't lie. I make really good triple cooked chips, but they just take a really long time, so I don't tend to make them very often. Um, I know all. <laughs> I've been saying a lot today that I don't really spend a lot of time making food unless I'm streaming. It's not always. It's not super true, but like most of the time, I'm I'm quite busy, so I don't tend to make things that take a long time to make for dinner, um, unless maybe it's the weekend. And then even then I usually have something on one of the days at the weekend. A lot of the time recently I've been spending like hanging out with people on Discord if when I'd normally just be like doing whatever, bumbling about the house. So it's a lot, a lot less time spent just kind of going, hmm, hmm, what should I have for dinner? And more just like playing video games with people, which is good because I'm actually spending time with people for once. Potato fondant. I've never had a potato fondant. Um, I've had a uh, dauphinois, which... I distinctly remember ordering at a restaurant because you could pick how you wanted your potatoes done on this dish and I and I was very proud of the fact that I'd like I don't know 10 years old or something I could say dauphinois because I because I knew a lot about because my dad was really into cooking so I'd seen a lot of cooking shows so I'd heard it said also thin shredded pan for oh god I love hash browns I think hash browns may be my favorite pre preparation of a potato. That was hard. To try saying preparation of a potato ten times fast. That's hard. Um, right. I'm going to get out of the induction hob and we're going to get started. But I'm going to check on this lemon zest. Okay, good. It's not all blown away. I was worried because I do have a fan oven. I need to keep checking on that though because that could, that could change at any minute. It could go everywhere. Let's move my drinks. I have water for hydration. I've got sneak for energy and I've got my breakfast. Mmm. That's cool. I'm going to mute you guys for a second because I'm going in the noisy cupboard. Okay, we're unmuted now. You can't scream anymore. Oh, the cupboard is noisy. Um, I'm sorry. I felt like I, I feel like I explain it every time, so um, I didn't explain it this time. But the cupboard is noisy because the induction hob is sitting under a bunch of pans. So in order to get it out, it all kind of goes blah, 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 anytime I take stuff out the cupboard. So I always mute the microphone so it doesn't like crash right in your ears. Um, thank you for the hydrate. Let me quickly do that. Like potato rosti shoestring potatoes. Yum. It's like playing a drum kit, yes. Okay, right, hold on. Let me tab back to the recipe. Um Well I think we have the right amount of I mean I don't I have no idea how much is in this jar. 
I don't know how much is in here. Um, it's basically a full jar, so if I guess if I look up how much is in a regular jar of that stuff. <laughs> it's about 500 grams? I mean, is that including the, the jar? Probably. Um, now I want to start making lemon pepper from scratch. Go for it. Since I'm trying to limit preservatives and sugar from processed foods, the store but lemon pepper has sugar. Oh, there you go. I mean, if it's as easy, if, if this is as easy as it is, um, then I go for it. Everything, welcome to Mass of Lara. Everything is made up and then that, the numbers don't matter. As we all know, the numbers are always 10 and everything is made from triangles that's how everything works oh wait there's another one right here right okay this is how we're gonna do this i'm gonna weigh this jar and then we'll know how many grams of sauce i have and then we can convert it okay oh no i can weigh it in ounces sorry i've got an ounce weigher i forgot that right this is how we're doing it let me just double check this is the same type of jar it is it's the same sauce. They're both home pride sauces. It's, oh, seriously. If you're, <laughs> if you're feeling like you just want to make something from a jar, I love home pride pasta sauces. They're such a guilty pleasure. Joe doesn't like them. We don't have them. I don't have them very often, but sometimes I'll have just a jar sitting in the cupboard waiting for me to have it one time. Right. Let's do ounces. Okay. Zero it out. And then weigh this one pound it's a pound that's enough right that should be enough <laughs> i'm just i'm just going i'm just going with with mm. i just don't want to make the i i more just want to give this the best chance i have of making it nice because i don't want to be like oh i'm not really liking it at the end and then flinks is like well you didn't really do it right. <laughs> Not that Flinks would say it like that, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, I want to give myself the best chance of liking this. <sighs> okay. What am I doing? I'm following a recipe. That's what I'm, I'm attempting to follow a recipe. So the re main reason I'm checking how much I have of everything. Eight cups of chicken broth. I definitely don't have eight cups of chicken broth. That's a lot of chicken broth. Wait, no, eight cups isn't actually that much. I was thinking of like eight liters for some reason. How much is, how much is cups in liters? A US cup is a, t uh, okay. So f eight cups is all just under two liters. So that's still like four stock cubes. And I think I don't, I don't, I don't have any. That's empty. Why is that even there? We will work with this. Um, we will make this work. I might have to use veggie stock. I do have enough veggie stock to do that. That's fine. Okay. First things first. We're going to do the rice. In the nice pot, because this is the li least likely chance it'll burn. Um, four cups of longer rice. Three tablespoons of oil. I'm not going to measure that bit. I'm just going to do the oil. Here we go. The recipe's actually starting, guys. We've done all the prep. I remember once I watched a streamer who was just started out and was like, do you do you do all of your mise en place before the stream or during it? And I was like, mate, I don't prep anything. What are you talking about? Hello. Hello, show. Um, that's probably more than three tablespoons. But We'll just go with it. We're going with it. Long grain rice. Long grain brown rice. We're getting out the cups, boys. Let's check on our lemon. Okay, we'll just leave that for as long as we can. Oh, it smells so good in here. Oh my god. It smells so good in here. It smells gorgeous. Okay, we need four cups of rice. 
How'd you do smash Brussels sprouts? That's actually on the recipe card. Basically, you pre-cook them. So it says to steam. I might have to boil. I don't have a steamer. Um, and then you... It's kind of like how you make how you make smashed potatoes. Like you just you you cook them a little bit and then you put them on a Oh wait, I need to wash it. I'm so used to making rice in the rice cooker, I forget that I have to actually wash rice. Hold on. Let me do that. Get smashed add potatoes. Perfect recipe. I'm so used to doing it like cuz I wash it in my rice cooker. So I'm so used to doing that that I was like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. All right, we're doing brown long grain rice, four cups. So let me just measure that out. I just hope I have enough space in my pan for this. Yeah, I should do. Should we halve this? I think we should maybe halve this because I'm getting a little paranoid about how much rice I need. Yeah, we don't wash it. You don't wash it. Okay, okay. No, that's fine. That just means I have to just move it through. But I'm trying to decide if I should, uh... Oh, I should have got fries. Yes, you should have. You should always have got fries. Correct. <laughs> scrubber, scrubber. Swish, swish, swish. Um... Right, I'm just... I'm getting a little paranoid about how much space I'm going to have in the pan. We could halve it. Could we halve it? Would that would that give us enough food? How much does this serve? It doesn't actually say. And I feel like four cups is usually like a is it usually a cup a person or is it usually half a cup a person? The oil binds the starch to the rice as you roast it in the pan. Yes, let's halve it because I'm a little bit nervous. Well girl, how old is you? I'm getting nervous. Yeah, let's let's just scoop out two of the cups. And pour the rest in the pan. How many cups are a person <laughs> serving for four plus adults easy with leftovers? Right. Well, cool. We're only doing we're only doing three today, so we'll halve it and then ah, I dropped some of the rice. But we are having sides, so that's kind of going to make up for it. Um, for those who are confused about why I keep saying three, uh, we have our bubble mate, <laughs> our bubble mate, um, our friend who is in our bubble, Faye, is coming over. So. Yeah, you guys jealous? We have uh, someone in the chat is getting to eat some of the food. Like, there's a lot of people in the chat who I either I know in real life, or or, or and or know whether or not they actually live close enough to come and get the food is a different story, but um. Faye is just the lucky one right now because we're bubbling with Faye. So that is how it works. If someone in the UK, I'd like to be very clear, in the UK, if you live alone, you're allowed to join someone else's household in a bubble as long as you then don't join another one later. That's, that's how the law is working right now. Just so everyone's aware. Internationally famous, I hope. Uh, well, let's see if, if it's nice. Like, it seems pretty simple. We'll make it again. I mean, I imagine it's going to be nice, but it's like whether it's up to our taste. It's up to it's with our tastes. You know what I mean? Right. Let's get this rice, this this pan heated up again. I can be there in twenty three hours. Well, I can. They'll stay in the fridge for that long. I'll just have to reheat them for you. Ah, excuse me, mentioned. Bubbling with Faye. Next up on Channel Four. That's where we just make bubble tea. Mm. We actually could as well. I have I have a uh, black tapioca pearls. We could make bubble tea. I think I put in too much oil, but we'll go with it. Everything is fine. Don't worry. Don't fret, everyone. Don't fret. I said don't fret. Stop fretting. <sighs> I've literally just started. Please don't get too hype. Right. So we've got the chicken over here. We've got the lemon zest in the oven doing its thang. Um, I've got the sauce pre-made that I've already I've already got. We have our sides. I'm going to do the sides while everything is cooking because this is going to take um, 30 to 40 minutes to cook down fully. 
So we're going to do everything in that time frame, pretty much. Um, and if we have extra time, we can make something else. Because I've got plenty of things in the cupboards and stuff I need to make, like stock and this, that, and the other thing. So there's plenty of stuff for us to do if we uh, have too much time. But it's not fraying. I'm super excited to share something he's grown up with his entire life. That's really fun. And that is why I love... That's one of the reasons I love streaming, because I get to try food from all over the world. Like, I haven't done it recently, but a couple years ago I did like, an, I did an entire month of Korean food, and then I did an entire month of Greek food. And I just like doing this kind of thing. Um, but it was a lot harder to find Greek recipes than I thought it would be. I don't know why, it just was. And, um, right, let's add the rice, I think that's probably hot enough. We're not trying to fry this rice, we're just trying to... Um, yeah, stop frying. Stop that. We're doing the we're doing the risotto thing, I think. Now we're frying it. There we go. Now it's absorbed it enough, we're gonna fry it. But I just didn't wanna deep fry these rice granules. These rice grains. Okay. And show if you never wash the rice. And flakes if you never wash the rice, then I feel a bit more safe doing it like this. Till it's golden brown. Well, it's already brown, but we'll we'll just kind of try and judge it. And then, hmm, I'm trying to think if I want to. Okay, I'm Greek enough. I can help you find recipes. Yeah, now we've got more people from all over the world. This was a few years ago when I wasn't, I didn't have as many followers. Um, Start judging everyone. Oh, you're really gonna wear that? Haven't died yet? Exactly. I speak in nothing but ads. It will have a sheen and luster. Okay. Ooh, it smells interesting. Ooh. I've never fried rice like this before. <laughs> so, it's toasting. Okay, I think I'll be able to tell when it's toasting because I, I do make risotto a lot and that's the same idea, at least to start with, you know? And it will smell divine. Faye will be the critic. See, the problem is, Faye had, Faye had some of that duck that I made. And this is, a, I, I don't know if I can top the duck, even with this amazing recipe. <laughs> to be fair, that was also Joe's recipe, so I'm not even taking credit for the, that duck. So it's really good. Yeah, I know. And now you're going to have this. And it's probably going to be good. But it's like, oh, it's going to have to meet your standards now. Your, your standards have been, are too high. <sighs> it's also quite fun to have someone uh, who, wrote, who wrote the recipe that I'm using in the chat. So not the first time this has happened. We actually had a, um, I was making a, a roast chicken and, uh, and I, I used to do this thing. I've talked about this before, but if you haven't heard this story, I used to do this thing where I would post on Instagram in the mor um, in the morning, what I was going to be making, like with a, with a picture of it. Um, like all my stories to be like I'm making this and if I knew if I could find the account of the person who wrote it the recipe so usually a blog account I would tag them and one time I did that and the the uh, the person that I tagged excuse me I'm just gonna move this out of the way um, the person that I tagged saw my post responded and then actually came to the stream um, and then was like sitting in the chat going Oh, that's so cool that you're like uh, that you're doing it like this. I wouldn't have thought of that and that kind of thing. We were just chatting, and it was really nice. So I really like it when I can do that because then I can also can have someone like basically looking over my shoulder and being like, "Yes," but in a nice way, not like in a I feel intense, like I have to get it right. You know, I think this might be done. It's starting to smell toasted, like popcorn. Uh, Faye's gonna come in with chicken standards, not duck standards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with this recipe. I just now I'm stressed about getting it good enough. Because Joe at least has had all of the food I've made on stream. Including the bad stuff, so. It's a little longer. Okay. 
see this is what I mean it's nice having you here so you can check stuff here I'll do a zoom in like it's hard to see the color because it's not quite true to life but all right into the honk first yes all the grains are toasted okay and then I'm gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna bring in another pan to do the sauce but before I do, I'm going to have to work with the, uh, is it okay if I let this, this get cold? Like, cause I'm thinking about, I need to take out and make the, uh, the lemon pepper. So is it all right if I let the, uh, the rice get cold or not cold, but like it's not hot. Yes, it's fine. Okay, good. That's okay then. I'm trying to sniff it without sticking my head into the pan. Oh, hi, Rice. Welcome back from the shops. I hope you had a good shopping experience. I hope my sneak's not getting warm sitting there. Let's move that. The uh, the induction hob lets out heat at the back. So um, things that sit behind it get a bit warm. So I try not to put my drinks back there. Gonna head out. Okay. Spent way too much. Oh, no. You can put it back on the heat to warm it and then transfer the rest of the ingredients in. Good. So I didn't want to keep it on the heat and accidentally burn it while I was making the lemon pepper. Speaking of, let's turn that oven off because I'm going to be getting that in a second. I think we might be okay. Smelling pretty toasted. I'll keep it going though. Because I'm stirring it enough that it shouldn't burn. We are all the sous chefs here. Yes, you are. <laughs> Faye is standing for chat, guys. It's quite handy to have a stand-in for chat. Because then I can be like... Do you guys think it's yummy? <laughs> like that. I'm doing this, doing this in larger batches. That's fair enough. So i got to take everything with a pinch of rice then. So I have a pinch of salt, get it? I, I think I'm happy with that. Smells really good. Smells nice and toasty. What do you think? Let me zoom you in. Obviously you can't tell if it's brown, but it looks more brown than it was. It's looking solid. Cool. Let's turn that heat off. Move that somewhere cold. And we'll get the... Uh, I'll keep it stirring though, because the pan still be hot, so I don't want it to toast too much. Um, funny you should say that, uh, Tim. We're actually doing smashed. We're doing bangers and smash next week, which is a recipe from the D and D cookbook um, with smashed potatoes and sausages. Gonna have war with Joe and a taste test. Yeah, you're busy. Got a lot to do today. Um, pan. That's why I'm doing. That's why I'm standing here like a numpty. We're going to heat that sauce. Oh, wait, but not yet. Not yet, not yet, because we've got to um, get the lemon pepper out doing its thing. I'm going to put that there. Move that drink, just in case. Let's check on that lemon. So if you've uh, just come in, we're making our own lemon. <gasps> no! The grease roof paper has fallen, which means all of the lemon zest has gone everywhere. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit this button. It hasn't. I've managed to save it. It all got curled up, but it, it fell off, but it curled itself up enough that I could actually get the, uh, the zest out. Yes! No Fs needed. And it's all dried out, which is what we wanted. Yes! I'm very surprised that worked. Now, do I get my, do this, uh, do I get out my spice grinder or do I just use my mortar, mortar and pestle, which is right there? Because I will already have ground the pepper because I've got a pepper grinder. And I didn't lose any! Yes! Exactly! Okay, it's not fully dry. It could dry a little bit more. Mash it. 
Okay, let's mash it. We'll monster mash it, shall we? There is a little hole in my mortar and pestle, by the way. <laughs> it got a crack in it. But we just won't use that side of it and it's been it'll be fine. It's gonna get wet again anyway. It's true, it's going in the sauce after all. Right, hold on. She did the mesh. Welcome home, Luco. What did you get for your de your tea? She did the monster mash. The monster mash. I like making stuff from scratch. Oh, that almost rhymed. It wasn't intentional. She did the mash. It caught on in a flash. She did the mash. Okay, so I'm supposed to have... Where is it? No. Is it closed? It has... That's frustrating. I didn't get a drink. I have chocolate milk though. Good. That sounds good to me. Um, I'm gonna need to reopen that tab that said how to make your own lemon pepper. Cause I need to get the ratios at least semi-correct. So it was supposed to be the zest from like six lemons or something. Yeah, five lemons a third of a cup of black pepper and a quarter cup of kosher salt. That is one lemon. So I need to divide a third of a cup by five. Oh, I haven't listened to it yet. Um, I did see it and I would, I will, I listened to the start of it, but I want to have time to sit down and listen to the whole thing. So, um, there's my rainbow pepper and I'm going to get my, sea, my, my coarse salt because I'm going to be crushing it myself anyway. So I don't need to use the grinder for it. But I don't have any I don't have any pepper not in a grinder, so. Um I'm just gonna kinda judge it by eye. It's a bit hard to change to guess how much I need. There we go. There seemed to be a lot of pepper considering its name. Like if you if we use the the image of it. As reference, it's like mostly salt and pepper with a little bit of lemon, so. Whew, that's very peppery. Well, I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like, but I will taste it as we go. Let me zoom in a bit. Wah! My thumb over that hole just in case. She did the mash, she did the monster mash, the monster mash, it was a graveyard smash, she did the mash. Oh. Could you imagine if I had a little song that played when I needed to mute the mic because I was smashing stuff? That's such a good idea. I still think there's way too much lemon in here compared to everything else. So I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna get my other pepper because I don't use up all my rainbow pepper. Just get my, my a little bit cheaper pepper. Put that in too. There we go. Some more salt. Cool. Smashing stuff is satisfying, it's true. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. making a note or something. Need to crush that salt down. We need to crush that salt down. We're making our own lemon pepper. Yeah, it's actually that loud on the mic. So I, I can't be too angry because I could smash the actual uh, mortar. I probably won't, but I don't want to like, God, don't want to like go for it too much. I'm just trying to give it enough welly that I can smash up the salt. Because the pepper's already... Pepper's already ground. It's just the salt I need to work on. This is going to be very lemony lemon pepper. No, it's not, because we're going to add more actual pepper. Once I've uh, used what I need for this recipe, I might re-dry this. Because I don't, I don't need all of this. Um, I'm just making a batch of it. I might re-dry this because the uh, the 
some of the lemon isn't quite dry enough and I don't want to put it in a jar and then it get like nasty and foosty, you know? I could have measured this, but I, I didn't. And that's, that's that. <laughs> that's my answer. I could have measured it, but I didn't. That should be a t-shirt because I, <laughs> the amount of times I just don't measure stuff on the stream. Okay, let's stop smashing and actually just do the, the grindy action. Like we're tightening a really, really tight screw. What do you guys think? I have no idea what lemon pepper is supposed to be like. Does that look like it's lemony? Too lemony? Too peppery? It's very yellow. Thank you for the hydrate, Nightbot. I appreciate it. Mm. Does it smell lemony, Mario? What, you mean lemon pepper or uh, my kitchen? How can you smell my kitchen? You've got, you've got your smell of vision turned on? Can you imagine if they ever actually invented that? I have no idea how they'd do it, but that would be amazing. with that. It smells quite peppery. Yeah, I'm trying to just get all of the salt crushed down because some of the crystals are still really big. And I'm glad I'm using this salt. I've had it for years and I just never use it because I have a I have a salt grinder that I use instead. But I have sea salt, um, garlic salt, rosemary salt, and uh, pink Himalayan salt, which is what I have in my normal salt grinder. So... Salt is important, y'all. You do all sorts of stuff to your food. It's really interesting, actually. Oh, nice! I'm thinking of getting it for the Switch this weekend. So I can just kind of play it when, like, now and then. I don't really play a lot of games that you have to come back to every day because like I said yesterday, I don't really have uh, like, I don't consistently have time every day to play games. It's like I'll have a period where I can play games every day for a week and then I'll be too busy to do it for another month, you know? And all this busyness, of course, is, uh, is business stuff. It's all stream stuff or bakery stuff. It's not like it's being put on me by other people, but it is my job, so. That kind of looks like theirs, except theirs is a lot less yellow. But everything is very yellow, because I've got yellow hair, I've got a yellow shirt on, and I've got this yellow pin. Lots of yellow today. Okay. I'm going to say I'm done with that. So that's the lemon pepper. I'm going to put that over here for now get the other stuff out of the way. Make sure I close that properly. I have put my salt away, put my pepper away, just tidying as I go, you know. Keep it nice and tidy. I'm gonna have a little bit of sneak because I can feel myself starting to flag. Oh, that's good. That is scarily good. I don't leave the stream, but I need to, to go and deliver pizzas. Okay, well that's fine. We'll see you when you get back, if you come back. And if you don't, then I hope you have a good rest of your day. Right. Back to the recipe. Mmm. Not, not this yet. I forgot I had to cut the garlic. Is there anything else I have to chop up? Because I keep forgetting. Oh, I need to get the chicken stock which is actually going to be um vegetable stock but the stock anyway 
I need to get that going. Okay, that's actually... I could use this. Because this actually holds more than my... My measuring jug would. Hmm, yes. No, maybe? I don't know. Do not blend hot liquids. It doesn't say don't put hot liquids in it, though. Yeah, let's go for it. Do I need to chop an onion? No. I'll leave the stream up. I'll see you at 7.30. I don't know if I'll still be here at 7.30, but if I am, I will see you then. Um, whatever 7.30 is for you. <laughs> I need... How much garlic do I need? Freshly minced garlic. Add to taste. Oh, well, we're going to add a lot then. Don't tell me to add garlic to taste. Well, actually, can we add a lot? I only appear to have one bit of garlic left. So we're going to have to just do what we've got. Oh, you are in the UK. I wasn't fully sure. Get that over there. That's for the stock. We'll get back to that. Boop. Roll up my sleeves. Hello. I mean... You haven't said anything yet. Just don't be rude and I won't ban you. Also, you can hear my hair talking too. So that was just me. It's telling me things. Okay. So why do you think I'm going to ban you then? Are you nasty? Are you going to say something mean? Do you just hate dyed hair? Well, welcome in, regardless. Um, we're gonna- we're making arrows con pollo, which is a chicken and rice thing that I was, had suggested to me by a follower. A long time regular. And I'm just mincing some garlic now, so I can make the sauce for it. Yeah, you don't get- we don't ban you for no reason. There are plenty of good reasons to ban someone. Plenty of reasons I might ban you. Yeah, that's why I crushed it with a knife, don't worry. Because I'm violent. I'm not violent, I'm very peaceful. I try to be peaceful. Don't, um, don't make me play certain video games though, because then I do get violent. So how was your day? Um, biomass. How's your day been so far? The temptation to just like smash this down to a paste is, is, is high, but I don't need to. There's no need to in this recipe, so I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it chunky. Choppy choppy. Hi, NZ! Is it weird that I call you NZ, but like I don't say Z, I say Z because I'm in the UK? Good to have you here. I'm just trying to clear up all of this. I'm just trying to keep clean up as I go this time because I don't want to be overwhelmed at the end with all the tidying I have to do. But hello! Hello! Welcome. I'm very excited. We're almost, I think we're almost ready to go. I just need to get the um, stock doing its thing. It's uh, I don't need, to, I usually need to use two stock cubes I think now because I'm halving everything. I didn't half the garlic, but to be fair, it said garlic to taste, so there's no halving needed, really. Just remind me, I need to... It's like how I pronounce colour as colour. Yeah! Colour. Uh, remind me I need to keep halving stuff, because I will forget. And I'll end up making way too much sauce, and it'll overpower everything. The way Americans said Zed is weird, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Mm. With what? Baramass. Also, hi Gabby! It's good to see you. How are you doing? Are you okay now? Let me just finish my smoothie. Hold on. Sorry, that was awful. <laughs> Those chickens are good. I thought I tried to mute that, but it didn't actually work, so. Go. Finish my smoothie, finally. Now I've got my sneak to drink. We're having a cherry bomb today. Not great, but I'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm glad to hear it'll be okay. I'm really sorry that it's not great. Um, I hope that it gets better quickly. You know, we're here for you. Ah, it's loud. Okay. Right, so what we're doing is we're gonna get the sauce going. So if you've just joined us, like a few people have, um, we are making arroz, uh, arroz con pollo, which I seem to have moved that bo that uh, menu box a little bit further over than I wanted. Let's uh, let's sort that out. Oop. And paste. There we go. So um, yeah, we're making that. Um, it's a PDF that I've been sent by Flinks, so that's why there's no link in the recipe command. And um. I'm halving everything, so I'm just about to start heating the garlic to make the sauce, and then the sauce gets added back to the rice. And then... When do we put the chicken in? It says add all the other ingredients. I'm assuming that means including the chicken. Stuck in bed is almost hard to deal with than the pain. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm thinking of you. If there's anything I can do to help... Send positive vibes, whatever you need. I will try. Um, so it's 500 milliliters of boiling water per one of these stock pots. I need four cups of chicken, well, vegetable broth. Sorry, it's not chicken broth. I thought I had more than I did. Stream helps with that. Oh, good. Four cups in milliliters. So it's just under a liter, so it'll be two of these. Perfect. That one did not pass the vibe check, am I right? I mean, I don't know what was the problem. Not, not, as in, I don't know what was their problem was, if that makes sense. What was their problem, man? Like, I didn't, I didn't say anything. We didn't do anything. <laughs> we didn't ban them. So two of these. So we need about a liter of water, but this thing only holds 750, so I'm gonna do that and then add more when we get, when we get to adding everything, so. It's you, you just, I just give off those vibes, man. Yeah, people just don't like being here, you know? It's actually, it's a miracle any of you guys have stayed. I'm just so, I'm just so horrible. <laughs> Let's use this one. Uh, nah, just use dairy in that case. Because if I, if I have almond milk, I won't be able to smooch Joe. Yeah, yuck. Also, hi, Margaret. How are you doing? Are you, um, you're having a chore day. A, ch a chore day? A chore day, right? So, here's the stock for later. Made up nice and, nice and hot. That way it's done. So I can just pour that in when I need it rather than having to wait for the kettle to boil. That's done. I'm trying to prep everything in advance and I think I'm doing a good job of it. Let's get that garlic on the heat. Let's go down fairly low, but we do have the diffuser, so. Um, for those who don't know what an induction hob is and what's happening right now, 
I like to bring a bit of educational content to my stream, so let me explain. The induction hob runs on magnets. The magnets uh, basically get excited when there's something magnetic on it, and that's what causes the heat. I know it's very sciencey saying just they just get excited, um, but that's what causes the heat. And um, so if you don't have something magnetic to sit on the induction hob, but how do how do magnets work? Who knows? So for example, this pan is magnetic, so it works fine. But this pan isn't because it's it's a cheaper pan. It's a I bought it in a big set back when I moved to university, so it's very cheap. But if you don't have a magnetic pan, you can buy one of these which is a diffuser, which transfers the heat into the pan, but there is a little bit of heat loss because obviously the actual diffuser has to heat up as well. So basically, uh, and it stays hot for a very long time, so you have to be careful with it. But yeah, magnets, how do they work? Some really surprising doctor appointments this week, but fueling my chores with, my, with the anxiety. Yay! Use that anxiety for good. <laughs> okay, let's get that heat up. Yeah, like what's wrong with my hair, guys? No, see, I think I think they were just saying that um, they could hear my hair talking. My hair was like whispering to them, being like, "We're gonna ban you. We're gonna ban you for no reason. You've not done anything wrong, but we're gonna ban you." <sighs> also, could you please just take a chill pill? This heckin' music. So loud. Hmm. You're right, it probably wasn't it probably wasn't whispering, it was more yelling, I think. Yeah, so we have to turn this up quite high for the heat to actually come through. I'm excited. Right, what are the other uh, spices that I need? What's the other ingredients I need just while we wait? Garlic powder. I actually have garlic powder now. Um, cumin! I'm not a massive fan of cumin. But, happy to use it when it's needed. Oh, salt and pepper, obviously. And I don't have sriracha, but I don't like spice, so I hope that's okay that I'm not going to add that. Because I don't like spicy things anyway, and it says to taste, so. Everything is added to taste. So I'll add a little bit of everything, and then once it's cooked, it's, it's sort of all come together, I'll taste it and add more. Because I assume that's what I'm supposed to do because that's that's how I do things normally. This is, very, this is very good. This is dangerously good. I just want to chug it, but I shouldn't. <laughs> Come on. And that hair proudly proclaims, I am a colorful person. It, it should proclaim, um, I don't care if you don't like my hair. Because <laughs> I wanted to have, um, I wanted to have a split dye for ages. But I had, um, when I had a side shave, I obviously couldn't, I could, but it would have been very weird because I had all of my hair on this side and my parting was like here. So as much as I like how I looked then, and I, I was, I really like that hair and sometimes I look back at that when my hair was like super short and a side shave, I was like, that looks really cool. Not sure I could still pull it off. Not sh I, As Joe phrases it, he's not sure if it's still me. Whereas this is more me now, having the little fringe. Which is good, because I want, I've wanted a fringe for ages, but I never thought I suited a fringe. But I've made it work. Anyway, that's probably warm enough now. We're having, we've got about, I'd say, two and a half cloves. Hey, thank you so much for that host, Chef Summer! How are you doing? Um, put about two and a half cloves of garlic. It was basically what was left at the end of a, of a bulb. Like all the little bits. And I didn't actually, uh, measure it. You're doing good. Good. Have you changed your name? Are you, yeah, that, you are, uh, Chef Summer Rose, right? And you've, but you've changed your, your username. Or is it just not showing up in Korean anymore? Alright, so we get that going. Let's turn that heat down a little bit. The one problem with having the diffuser is it basically acts just like a regular electric hob, which means that the temp it takes a really long time to go, like, it get low. Reduce the heat. Get lower is what I was trying to say there. Did I tell you that you taught me to dye my hair yellow? You did mention it, and I'm very happy that I did. How does it look? Have you had it done yet? 
Are you happy with it? Do you like it? Yellow is a good color. I actually have a fair amount of my yellow hair dye left and another one of a different shade of yellow. So I'm going to I think I'm just going to keep it yellow for the time being. Wow, are you trying to apply that I'm an attractive Korean married to a gorgeous black woman? If yes, then yes, I am Chef Sunrise. Okay, I just wanted to check because you're, you're, you're sub to me and your name is so similar, but then I was like, I don't want to assume that it's the same person, so I'm glad it is you. <laughs> or are you are you making a joke and it's not you and now, I've, and now I feel really silly? It is me, good. Hold on. One sec, I'm just gonna mute my mic for a second. Sorry, just telling Joe. He's he's cleaning the the living room right now, and I was like, "You can move stuff to my room if it needs out. You need it out of the way." I wish I was an attractive Korean married to a gorgeous black woman. <laughs> okay, I don't want to cook this garlic too much more. My problem is, I I know a lot of recipes are like cook it until you can smell the garlic, and I'm like, I can never smell the garlic. There, there's never too much garlic for me. It doesn't smell very strong. Let's turn it down a bit more. But really, don't we all? True. Hey. Hey. Yeah. That's good going good i've uh i've cooked down the i've uh toasted the rice i've start i'm starting the sauce and i've made my own lemon pepper it's what's in the mortar and pestle because you can't really get lemon pepper in the uk and now we have a lemon a really big lemon that we can chop up and put in the freezer we've got filming dates oh wow really july 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 okay that works let's take that off the heat yeah. for a second and potentially using those uh, our chairs because we need five identical chairs and guess what we've got five identical we've got chairs. five identical chairs why do they need to be identical because it's just it just look nice? oh okay yeah. I, I was like I, I wasn't sure if they would be able to see the chairs was more my point no they need to be five identical white sort of like chairs oh perfect and then we happen to have five, five identical, identical white chairs give them a clean because I think they're a little, some of them are a little bit dusty but we'll do that when it gets come to it not yet I shaved my hair for St. Jude's they got eight grand wow I got a new shoe for my prosthetic I need to wait two to three weeks until I can dye it well I hope that I'm sure it will look really awesome when the time comes also I've made this this garlic a little bit too crispy so I need to start adding all the ingredients um oh no I didn't measure the I haven't measured the sauce out for how much I need and that's that's one of the important ones I have to measure. I can't just guess that one. So um, I'm gonna quickly get something out so I can measure it into it. Oh! Sorry, I'm gonna in. Oh no, I was gonna say just put it in my room. It's kitchen stuff. I know. Okay, you can put it there, I guess. It's just because it'll be a bit in the way from you walking around. Okay, I'll leave the door open. Right, sorry, I know you can't see me. I'm measuring stuff, but I can't do it on top of the, the induction hob because it's still hot. So, just bear with me. I'm just measuring out half of 15, so seven and a half ounces of sauce. Ooh. Okay, it's eight. It's eight and an eight. Eight and an eighth. But I'm going to say that's close enough. And we'll use that. That's not very much sauce, is it? I mean, we're mostly adding in a lot of stock, so I guess that's why. So let's put this in. There's a little bit of oil left in the pan, but I think that's okay. There is the tomato sauce thing, not film. <laughs> yes, it's filming for uh, Joe's um, podcast, which is not, which is still going to be a podcast, but it's like a video podcast. And now they're getting filming dates. It's gonna be super awesome. I will type it in the chat. So I changed my name to remove the clean because of the racist comments I got. Oh no. Oh no. And then I removed Rose because of the 
sexual comments I was getting. It said people online have never seen a female. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Tell me about it. Right. Okay, so we've got the tomato sauce in. I'm just going to go slowly. The, the heat is off. So I'm just going to add everything slowly. Uh, do I add the stock now? I think so. I think everything just goes in now. And then we add it to the rice once it's all kind of mingled. So let's add in all of this stock. This is going to be very hot, so I have to be very careful not to pour it on myself. And then we need a little bit more because this thing only holds 250. No, 750. So I need another 250 to make it a liter. Ah. Like that. It's just under a liter, but it's like 987 or something milliliters. So I'm not going to bother trying to make it exact. Okay, there we go. And then, now bear in mind, this may look really watery, but I am using it to cook rice. So it's going to reduce down quite a lot. And now we're going to add the seasonings. So we're going to add some cumin, some pinch of lemon pepper. It's supposed to be two pinches, but we are halving everything. So good pinch because I spent ages making it. So I want to make it worth it. Salt and pepper is a little bit oily, not ideal, but that's fine. Um, garlic powder, just a little bit. Like I said, we'll, uh, we'll work on this and we'll add more to taste as we go. And a little bit of cumin. Come on, cumin, there you come, there we go. And then we heat this up. Oh wow, it smells good already. But yeah, so we're not putting in the sriracha. So here's the recipe. It's four cups of rice, um, 15 ounces of, to oh, it's actually in milliliters. I'm just being a dumb. Um, 15 ounces or 444 milliliters of tomato sauce, salt and pepper added to taste, cumin garlic powder, two pinches of lemon pepper, sriracha sauce added to taste, optional, eight cups of chicken broth, freshly minced garlic to taste, and one and a half cups of shredded chicken. Um, so basically all of the seasonings are just figure out what you're wanting, but, um, the, the rice and the liquid make that, which makes sense are the measured bits. And yeah, so it's pretty much, I'm just going to heat this through. So we've got some nice hot liquid to cook the rice down. It should still be quite hot because I, it used the boiling water from the stock. I'm going to keep all of the seasonings here. because I need, might need to add more. Yeah, and then we just put them in the rice and then we've got to just, oh, and the chicken. I need to put the chicken in. I forgot the chicken. Can you imagine that? Should I add the chicken now? Should I put it in with the rice? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'll put it in when we transfer it to the rice just to give it a little bit less chance of overcooking. But while we wait, I'm gonna put this sauce back in the fridge. You still needing this door open? Yeah. Okay. It's okay, it's just getting a bit cold in here. I'll just turn the oven back on. Let's put things away while we wait. Just trying to be a bit tidy. Don't know why I was about to do this. Mm, yes. Oh, hydrate for me, thank you. Oh, also, I forgot to hit enter on that. That is the project, if you don't already know, that Joe was talking about. They finally got their filming dates. That is uh, Joe's current big show thing that he's working on. Um, it's a review show about movies, but everyone in it is Scottish. And they, um, they have, they're going to have guests who are like in the Scottish acting industry. If there's ever sriracha in a recipe you're skipping out on, adding a little extra garlic can help with a little dash of lemon or vinegar. Ooh. Well, I mean, we're having lemon. We've got lemon pepper in it. I could just put in more, a little bit more lemon pepper because of the lemon. 
I know you meant like lemon juice, but I'm gonna add more lemon pepper. That's really cool. I could do that. I don't have any more garlic, unfortunately, but I'm gonna taste this as it cooks. I don't know when they would get to film together, but I'm excited it's gonna be soon. Yeah, so they've 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 said a couple of times that they were gonna film together at this time, and then obviously rules and laws got changed about lockdown, so they had to push it back and push it back. But they've said that they're gonna all things, you know, staying the same, they're gonna do it in July. So that's quite exciting. Sriracha is just chili, vinegar, salt, sugar, and garlic. I could add a little bit of vinegar. What I'm going to do when this is... In fact, this is probably heated through. I don't really need to boil it. I'm going to give it a taste and see if I think it needs anything. Like, if it feels if it feels like it could use some vinegar. That's really good. <laughs> That's going to be really nice. Um, it doesn't need any more salt. because There's quite a lot of salt in the stock. I'm gonna- I can't taste any cumin. I'm gonna add some of the cu more cumin. Ooh, a lump. Big lump just fell in. Now, I'm not a huge fan of cumin, but I do want to be able to taste it. You can add a little, what kind of vinegar? Like, malt? White? What are we talking? You know, I thought about adding the Korean spelling of my name, but I don't actually speak Korean, so it seems weird. Mm. I getcha, I getcha. Yeah, that would- I think a lot of people would, if they saw that, they'd assume that you did. Regardless of whether they know where you're actually- like, where you're from. Or, uh, your, um... What you look like. That's better. Um, it's really good. She's really good. I'm adding more lemon pepper because I'm getting good. That's probably why it's so salty because there's quite a lot of salt in this. But I've added more of it anyway. There we go. Just having the oven on to heat up the kitchen a bit. Strength because some things are allowed to be filmed at the moment, but there aren't clear rules on what can and can't be done. Like I've been offered extra acting work. Till I get my second jab, I don't feel like I could. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Okay. This is now distilled vinegar. I've got, um... Oof. I've got rice vinegar. And I've got... I don't... It's, I, I have malt, but it's hiding. I'm gonna add a teeny tiny bit, because this isn't in the recipe, and I don't want... I don't- okay, I want to be clear when I'm sit. ah, oh, that's way more than I meant to put in. Oh well, it's quite a lot of liquid in there, it's probably fine. Um, when I say I don't want Flinx to be upset, I don't think Flinx is going to be mad at me, because Flinx is very nice as a person. Um, I just don't want to do anything that would make the recipe not taste as it's supposed to taste. And then I'm disappointed and then Flinx is like, well... You can't taste the vinegar, that's fine. I didn't put in too much. Okay, I think that's... I'm happy with this. That's quite a lot of stuff going in there. Good morning, Dottie. It's lovely to have you. Let's get this chicken out of the way. Remember, don't forget to put the chicken in. I'm going to put it on top of my phone so I don't forget to do it when I check the recipe. Um, I'm going to quickly move this over here. And then we're going to put the rice back on. We can heat the rice through a little bit before we add the sauce. Whoop. But I think I'm happy with the flavors, which means I'm gonna need to actually do this. I'm gonna need to put the heat on. I'm trying to figure out the best way of doing this. I'm gonna move this. Is this still hot? No, it's good. All right. I'm gonna put the heat on on the back of the hob, stove top. Um, for those who aren't in the aren't in the UK, so I can once I've got this all combined, I can leave it on the back hob because we're going to have to start making the side dishes. So I can't have this under the camera for the full thirty minutes. Um, 
We all know what horrible flakes is. This recipe is very malleable. It takes a bit of practice to find the flavor you're looking for. I mean, I'm loving it already, but that's because I've got stock and salt and garlic and the tomato sauce that I love already. So I'm happy with it so far. Captain Flink's the hard ass once you're bad and you're gone. You're off the force. You're not allowed to make recipes anymore. Um, yeah, I also, by the way, let me just go. I do have um, a new points. I know everyone's putting their points towards the Charlie's Angels stream right now, so it's totally fine if you don't want to do it. But I do have a new points redemption, so you can suggest recipes. Because I've seen other... Um, I've seen other cooking streamers do it, and I've always been a bit nervous to do it. But then I was like, "Why? I'm already doing things people are suggesting." So you can suggest if you want. If you have a recipe you want me to make, it might take me a couple weeks because I tend to pl plan my cooking streams a few weeks in advance, ideally. Um, but if you do want to do that, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do it now. I'll just add it now. Um, but you can suggest recipes for me there. I will probably won't ever veto the recipe. Because um, the only time I would veto is if it requires me to spend like a hundred pounds on ingredients or something. So if you missed what I did there, I just added the uh, chicken to the sauce because Flinks was like, add it in while it's all coming together so it gets a bit of moisture. But I think, I need to turn this down before it burns. It's time to add the sauce. It smells like popcorn to the rice. Gold cover truffles with caviar as an entree to a 10 course meal. Exactly. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. It's okay. No, I'm more worried about your car. <laughs> um, can you get a bit of, uh, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's got a split. It's got a split? Yeah. It's Sorry. Got a split. So just pop it on the table. Oh dear. Sorry. It's alright. Sorry, for context, the drinks have arrived, but the, uh, the, the, uh, my one has got a split in it, so it's kind of gone everywhere, but that's okay. Okay, let's not burn this rice. Yes, bubble friend, Flakes. Bubble friend. Bubble friend! Oh, bollocks. That's okay. Okay, thank you. Don't forget your coffee. <laughs> right, I'm gonna combine. You guys ready? This is the part that has a warning on it. So not to splash myself. So my bubble friend is here. Whoa! I had that way too high a heat. It's okay. It's all right. Don't burn. That's so loud. That's about right. Okay, good. Oh, there we go. Okay, more liquid is in. It stops screaming at me. I'm just really worried I've burnt some of that rice with that. Yeah, there's a bit, a couple bits that look a bit burnt, but hopefully it's okay for the most part. Open a window. It's okay. No, the steam's gone. It's a only a little steamy. A steamy PG stream. That's what you get when you come to my stream. You get steam, but in a PG way. There we go. It's okay. <laughs> Blinks is like, don't panic. Everything's fine. It was just the sound that threw me off. Right, we've got it in here. Um, oh, turn the heat to low. Well, I better turn that down. Woo! Just making sure. Allow the uh, sauce to bubble. Oh, okay, let's turn it up again. Allow the sauce to bubble for several minutes and stir in the mixture evenly before covering with the lid. Ooh! Well, you know what's fun about this pan? I don't have a lid for it, but that's okay. I'm going to put a plate on it and that'll do the trick. Um, which means I need to move this camera. Sorry guys, hold on. Let me zoom into the counter for a second so I can do this without disorientating you all. Okay. You might be in a different place now. Sorry. Don't, 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 don't get too scared. I've moved you slightly. I don't need to turn this, that one anymore. Just waiting for you to bubble. Come on, buddy. Oh, hydrate. Thank you. Oh, no, no, don't be silly. It's fine. Mm. It's, it's fine. Don't have to get me another drink. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, look, I will be fine with half a drink. You stay, go, yes, go back, go and enjoy Warhammer. It's fine because she never actually finishes a drink anyway. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bubble. <laughs> oh, uh, people say hi. Because you're in the kitchen again. Hello. Horror being nice, Joe casting shade. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, it's starting to bubble. There you go. That's, Aww. That, that's it salvage. See, look, that's perfect. See? You would never even know. It's been fixed. Like a whole new game, Lewis. It's like a whole new game, Lewis. That's, a, that's an old reference. Mm. That is an old reference. Ah, perfect. It's so tasty. Okay. I want to stir it, but it says to bubble it first. Like bubble friend. Pretty drink. Yeah, let me show you properly. I can't really show you it without pouring it everywhere. But, I don't know. It's the mint chocolate. Mm. Frostino from Costa. Which, uh, the cup split. <laughs> and went everywhere. But it's fine now because we've saved it. Hello, sorry for that about that interruption. Everything's fine. Our bubble friend is here to play Warhammer and bring me not a coffee because I knew I was gonna be drinking sneak, so I was like, coffee is a bad. How po po how poyo is the arrows now? I don't know. Cause I can't okay, I think it's I think it's bubbled enough. I'm a bit worried it's gonna burn. There we go, we're good. Big stir. Big stir bit more bubbling and then I will put it on the back hob to simmer for 40 minutes 30 minutes but I've turned the back hob down to three so it should be good oh my goodness and then we're gonna start making the Brussels sprouts not with this plate this plate is my makeshift lid because we broke the lid for this broke I'm reducing the moisture so it plumps up. Yeah, I figured that's probably what was going on, which is why it says let it bubble for a while. What's that singing sound? Is that? I feel like it, I can hear a hoover, but I don't know if I'm if my ears are just ringing. It's also very gentle, like it's boiling, but it's not like trying to get out of the pan, you know? I don't hear it often, no, but it sounds like a- you know, you know how when a hoover is being used like in another flat and you can just hear like the the high pitch squeak, high pitch squeal of it rather than the actual sound? Stir occasionally so it doesn't burn it. Bob's your uncle. Spanish rice! It smells so good. Sweetheart. Yeah. No, you said you checked under the couch. And you checked under the table? For what? Well, you didn't check hard enough, did you? My cho- oh, it's very dusty! Yeah? <laughs> my choker! My favourite choker! I will leave it there. Ugh. So you remember to clean it. Yes. You don't ever really want to boil meat. You don't even know what I want. Yeah. But you know my blue choker that I usually wear all the time? I lost it! And now I've found it. Or rather, Joe found it under the sofa. It was Joe. I think he's hoovering the living room. That's what the sound is. I'm not going mad, guys. Okay, I think, I think that's probably enough. Right? I'm also a bit worried that I've cooked the rice too much, like I toasted it too much and now it just won't absorb anything. You can't see anything. I have the heat, the fan on, I promise. Now it's fine, nice. That's okay. Right. Flakes, you think that's good? I think that might be good to go on the on the back hop now, or is it a bit longer? That's true, that is what Maru wants. Maru wants people to fear him. Is that not true? Why is zombie stuck in my head? Zombie, 
Zombie. Thank you, Barrow. The uwu made it so much better. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to move that to the back hob. Unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see it. But we're going to set ourselves a timer. I'm going to put the lid on it. And then we're going to stir it every few minutes. Not every few minutes. Every, uh, maybe five minutes. It's still bubbling, but it will stop. But there we go. Put the lid on it. Lid. Um, it's just going to be gonna be like that for half an hour so okay Google set me a timer for 30 minutes please okay, 30 minutes. I'm energy covers several of my friends and also my partner hey so rude how dare so nasty just keeping track of the chat Okay, so the next thing we're making is we're going to make smashed Brussels sprouts. Now these Brussels sprouts have... Okay, I'm going to go back to Lurk now. Right, I'll, I'll call you out if I need any help. I'll let you know. Um, but these Brussels sprouts are going to be basically parmesan, parmesan and garlic. So I think I need to keep the garlic powder out. I think I need it for that. Um, so basically they're just going to be really tasty Brussels sprouts. They're not gonna be anything super difficult, I don't think. I've never made them before, so maybe I'm talking out my butt. Oh, but we could use some lemon pepper on them. That could be fun. Could put some lemon pepper on them and then that might like tie the dish together. That could be good. Yeah, so like I said, I looked up what people would have as a side with this. And a lot of people were like, green stuff, Brussels sprouts, green beans, things like that. So that's what we're going for. Um, now. Here's the recipe, and now I have to bring it up on my phone. For, oh god, this smells so good. Oof. So all things uh, going well, we'll probably be eating, I'll probably have a three hour stream, because I imagine maybe three and a half hours. Just for reference, we're at two hours, 20 minutes right now. I'm gonna real quick find these Brussels sprouts that I saved. Isn't it interesting? I say Brussels sprouts, but like this recipe is calling them Brussels sprouts. Like there's an S at the end of Brussels. So here's how it works. Let me quickly get to the actual recipe. Trim the Brussels sprouts, get any and cut any bad leaves off, give them a good cleaning, and steam them until they are fork tender. I don't actually have a steamer. So we're going to have to, um, wait, which one's correct? The one with the S or the one without the S? Also, now you can see my drink a bit better. Ta-da! It's rescued. <laughs> it was a, it was a Frostino with whipped cream on the top. And now it is a drink with whipped cream in it. <laughs> and it's so good. But there's no coffee in it because I knew I was having a sneak. Um, so then when we've steamed it, or whatever I'm going to do with it. Their name for the places where they're most popular. Oh, so it is Brussels. Okay, that's good to know. So I'm the one being the idiot this time. Um, and then we toss them with olive oil, seasoning, put them out on the dish, the baking dish. Use the bottom of a cup to smash them until they're flat and then put parmesan on the top. So what we're going to do for the seasoning, which is uh, garlic powder, salt and pepper, I'm going to add lemon pepper as well, instead of the salt and pepper. So we've got like something to tie it in a little bit. Not that we use very much lemon pepper in this in the rice dish, but which leads to the farcical British sprouts in the supermarkets. And oh God, let's not even, let's not, let's not talk about that right now. But like, before we do anything else, we've got to prep the sprouts. So let's get on that. I got a big bag, big bag, 
because I actually they were reduced. I bought them a couple days ago because we went to the shops and I was like, hey, I need these anyway, which is the benefit of having a stream planned a week in advance. Which is why if anyone does do a recipe suggestion, I'll uh I will be it will be a couple of weeks time before we do it unless I start doing extra cooking streams which I haven't actually budgeted for whether I can do that or not ah hello you're back does that mean it's it's uh, just at work while watching you ah cool right I'm gonna let the steam out of this and give it a little stir I'm just gonna try and keep on top of stirring this but it's helpful having a plate this big <laughs> Because it's not awkwardly shaped, I can just pull it off. I love sprouts so much. I love sprouts. I love sprouts. Um, when they're cooked, when they're done nicely. Which is pretty much all the time. And I think I told you guys about the fact that um, Brussels sprouts used to be, actually used to be more disgusting than they are now. Because there was a uh, food scientist, grower, I'm not really sure what their title would be who spent years finding an, uh, basically the chemical they found, they figured out the chemical that makes sprouts taste bitter and like disgusting and then they essentially just bred it out of them. They found one one type of Brussels sprout that doesn't have that chemical in it and then just made all of them like that. You know, they basically crossbred them until none of them had the bitter thing anymore. So that's why they're nicer than they used to be. Should I? No, I'm not halving them, I'm just taking off the stem, which I'm hopefully going to use in the stock later. Now these were reduced, so I'm, not, I'm expecting to find a couple with bruises. <sighs> Sprouts may make you fart, but they're, they're good for you. And they're super tasty, so I don't care. <laughs> smells so good right now. I wish you guys could smell it. So here's a good time while I'm doing this chopping to talk about next week's stream. We're going to be doing a, um, I'm just going to take off these loose leaves, cook them. I'll cook them as well, but they're going to burn. They're not going to work if I cook them on these. Um, we're going to be making stuff from the D&D &D cookbook. We're going to be doing a cook along. I'm going to post the ingredients on Monday on my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, so probably on Discord as well, actually, to be fair. Um, so you can buy them in time if you want to cook along. It's gonna be at the same, the normal time, so 2 p.m. Um, and then I will try and be as concise as I can. Oh, this one's really fun, look at this. It's having a good time, it looks a bit like a rose. Good evening, hello. Dan, I'm not sure how which words are what, so I'm gonna call you Dan. Hope that's okay, unless you change, unless you correct me. Danny, um, welcome to the stream. Yeah, so we're gonna do a cook along. Um, we're gonna be making onion soup. Um, wait, that's wrong. Come over there. Onion soup, bangers and smash, which is basically smashed potatoes and sausages. So. I was gonna do stuff like really intricate, like detailed, like we're doing like a big roast so it took ages and then I was like no because that's gonna make people want to join in less if I make it really complicated. Plus I'll get stressed having to try and you know do the cook along and also um, make the food myself so we're not doing that. And then we're gonna make uh, Barovian butterscotch pudding but I need to figure out what I'm doing with that because I'm supposed to have corn syrup for it and corn syrup is not. You can't buy corn syrup in the UK. Just call me Dan or Danner. Okay, I will call you Dan, if that's all right with you. Used to have sponge aubergine with salt to draw out the bitterness, even like 34 years. Used to have to sponge aubergine. Oh, I see. That's what you said, not you have a sponge aubergine. But welcome in, Dan. Welcome into the cooking stream. We're making a, a rice and chicken dish, which is currently on the hob doing its thing. I'm about to make some smashed Brussels sprouts. Look at this one! This one's crazy! Look how big it is! So we're just de-stemming them. And I'm gonna keep these leaves. 
and maybe fry them with the broccoli. Oh, that would be a nice idea. If I keep the leaves and fry them with the broccoli. Just ch checking there's any leaves I need to save. Rather than letting them go to waste. It's huge, right? That's a whole Belgium sprout, right? It's huge! But yeah, I don't like wasting the leaves, but it's just sometimes when you cook Brussels sprouts in the oven, when they've got all those leaves, the leaves will burn, and then it won't be nice because it'll be kind of bitter. <laughs> it's so big! Um, so what we're going to do with these, you've just joined us, is uh, we're just going to... Well, I think I'm going to try and, I guess, boil them. Boiling them really gets rid of all their flavour, but... I don't have a steamer, so I'm not really sure how I'd steam them. We'd have to kind of try and work around that. Oh yeah, I guess I could like do a makeshift steamer, but I'd have to do them in batches. Because I could like put a sieve on the pan and work like that. But I just, I don't have a big enough pan to do all of them at once. So huge! All my ones going over there are, uh, I'm going to use them for stock. I need to make stock later. And Brussels sprouts are really good added to stock. They're like my favorite thing to add when you're making your own vegetable stock because they're um, they're just to give it a little bit of sweetness and it's nice. You know what, I could get started actually. I could get started steaming these while I chop them because I can only do them in batches anyway. So let's get some heat on. Get some water going in. find the lid for that pan. We can steam, we can try and steam some stuff. I have so many veggie scraps ready for stock now. Yes, that's wonderful. Should I use my colander? The colander would make more sense. I can put more in it, but it's not wide enough. Mm, no, that's not going to work. It'll just sit at the bottom of the pan if I do that, so that's not going to work. We're just going to, we're just going to, back to the original plan. We're using the sieve. Uh, let's find the pan lid. Perfect. It's a little bit, it'll be fall off a little bit, but it should be fine. It can be difficult. Yeah, that does work. Perfect. Would it be interested in a knife tip to improve your safety? Yeah, go for it. Um, yes, please do. Also, Ego, please do. I'm going to put this... No, I'm not going to use my other sieve because it's a bit bigger and nicer but it has potato in it right now so I'm going to quickly give it a clean I really just want to get a bamboo steamer or just a steamer basket for my pans that like won't pop the lid off the top I know you can get like metal steamer baskets. I've seen them and I want them. I just keep forgetting that I need one, you know? Every time I try and steam stuff on stream, I'm like, it's fine, I'll improvise. And then it goes wrong and I'm like, ah. So, while we wait for that water to heat up. How is it, how is it looking? Is the right of absorbing the sauce? Let's, let's tab back to that, shall we? Hold on. Just real quick. Get it. Get that set up so I can do it when it's closer to the time. Boop. That's fine. Excuse me, sir. Go in there. Thank you. Let out the steam. Ooh, yes. Definitely absorbing that sauce. That rice is definitely getting bigger. And less sauce in there. That looks really good. Hold on, let me see if it sniff. I'm going to turn it, the heat down a little bit. I think it is being still a bit too vicious. Right. Try to get a claw grip. Oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know I'm supposed to do that. I'm just not very good at doing it. Let's put these in here. I don't know how long I'm supposed to steam them for. But we'll find out. If I look at the recipe. But thank you for your, uh, thank you for your advice. I'm just not very good at following. Like that. I'm just really bad at doing that, so I always use my hand like that. Um, 15 minutes. Jeez, that's gonna take ages. Oh well. I'll just prep. 
I don't like that I have to do it in two batches, but it's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. So, I mean, I guess I could just put them all in. And then just stir it now. And then, yeah, that'll work. Okay, move that lid over there. And let's chop some Brussels. Yeah, I'm just going to chuck them in as I chop them. leaves off they're a little bit spotty I don't want that perfect this is a good system because the water has not got to the boil yet but it means they're not in my way wah what does that say Anaya wah so what's everyone up to while you lurk or or chat in the stream how's everyone's days going Oh yeah, also, does anyone have any uh, uh, tips for what I should switch for the um, corn syrup in my in the Barovian butterscotch pudding that I'm going to make? Because I'm not going to be able to get corn syrup. And like, it depends on the recipe what other kind of syrup you use instead. Um... Worship the claw. I've been working on my knife skills for over a year. I still feel back not curling my fingers enough. Fortunately, I have always been catching nails instead of fingertip. Same. Could you make a simple syrup? But yeah, I guess. I mean, I know how to. I, I do know how to make a simple syrup. I could do that. I mean, I guess it would stop me having to buy another extra ingredient for it. Honey? Mm. Yes, dear? <laughs> but yeah, we could uh, put that one over there. It's too small. We could try honey. I'm not sure if it would work. Give me a little leaf. Yeah, so I want to fry the broccoli that um, we're going to have this as well. Just because it will be quick. And it's tender stem broccoli, so it's fun to fry. <sighs> trying Working, trying to motivate to do ring fit. You could do it. Bee flower vomit. Yum. Flower vomit. My favorite kind of vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's so gross. Why is that in my head? I wonder if you could deep fry Brussels sprout leaves. I'm sure you can. Oh, we're starting to get some steam going, so I'm probably going to need to put this lid on. Okay, Google. Set me a timer for 15 minutes, please. Second time. My dad loathes Brussels sprouts. I subbed corn syrup with glucose syrup when I was making marzipan, and I think it worked well, though it doesn't depend on texture or flavor. He's picking out wines all day. Oh, that's pretty neat. Not a bad job. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I could do glucose syrup. It's for butterscotch pudding, so I don't. I really don't know what it's for, whether it's for flavor or texture. And I've never made butterscotch pudding from scratch, so I hope that I've got the stuff for it. Because I keep saying like, oh, we're going to make this butterscotch pudding, but I haven't actually looked at the ingredients list recently. And I'm worried now that there's going to be random things that I'm not going to be able to find. Being a sommelier has its perks. You can choose a sommelier. I don't actually, uh, I don't actually really enjoy wine. I'm sure there would be a wine I would like, um, but... The only wine I've, I've, the wine I've drunk, I didn't like. I'm just not really a wine person. I'm just going to chop this in half, because like half of that's a bit sad. Look at it, it's a beautiful flower pattern. Let's keep 
and Joe walking around the flat. Throwing me off. Right, there we go. And peel off the leaves. What are? Okay. I'm gonna peel off this leaf as well. And quickly chuck these in. Hopefully not too much time has passed and these guys will steam too. Bump. Bump. There we go. Just steaming them up. Yum, right? Brussels sprouts. Love me some Brussels sprouts. Love, love, love. Love, 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 love. Right, I'm going to pop the ends and all the bits I'm going to use in the stock in here. And this might actually make me make the stock like tomorrow or today. Oh, I do need to figure out what I'm having for dinner tomorrow. I need something in the slow cooker. Um, that's not intensive. <laughs> I'm going to fry all of these with the broccoli. I don't, I haven't picked seasonings to go on the, on the broccoli yet. So if we want to decide together, unfortunately I can't put garlic with it because I've run out of garlic, but uh, could do balsamic or something on the broccoli. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like trying something new. Wine is nice, but it gives me wicked hangovers because of the sugar content. Now that I'm better about much water I drink, I'm pretending, yeah, you could try. Go for it. This is a nice drink, but it's very chewy because there's so much chocolate in it. And a favor, a nice stout. Since I'm trying to reduce my calories, I'm more partial spirits. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about alcohol anymore. Because I know I'm not allowed to drink alcohol on stream. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. Alright, I'm going to give this stuff a stir. Still, oh yes! That rice is really fluffing up. That looks good. I think it might be done earlier than expected. And it's on two right now. I'll put it down to one. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How much time? You have two timers. The 30 minute timer is running with eight minutes and 55 seconds. There we go, that's why. The 15 minute timer is running with 11 minutes and 17 seconds. That's why, because it's on eight minutes left. That's probably enough broccoli. I love tender stem broccoli, so we'll definitely eat the rest of this. It won't go to waste, don't you fret. So we're gonna we're gonna fry all of this. I'm just gonna chop it down a little bit so it's less. It's less. There's less of it. Good whiskey or scotch I can sip on is the best. I'm. What do you mean, oh dear? Oh, oh dear, what happened? Um, are you talking about me? Talking about. I, I had a, a Discord call with some other cooking streamers. I think it was last week. Oh, I've lost track of the days now. Um, and found out that if I'm to consume alcohol on my stream, I have to be marked as a mature stream. So um, I no longer drink. Not that I drank a lot, but like sometimes I'd have a cocktail while we were cooking. That is no longer the case. <laughs> Stop drinking it fast, stop drinking ice or extra cold, fill your mouth with water and swallow it for that taste. Ooh, that's a good advice. That's good advice. Um, I I do drink mine. That was I almost cut my hand there because I was being stupid. Um, I do drink my water quite cold. Eat more cooked vegetables in soup. Most of the streamers I watch are marked as mature. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, there are a lot of cooking streamers who are uh, marked as mature just to be safe. But at the same time, there's also a lot of cooking streamers who are PG. So it's kind of like, I feel like it's kind of 50-50. This one looks like it's dancing like with the little leaves. I like it cold. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like my, my uh, water warm. Yeah. <laughs> What do you guys put on your broccoli? Like, do you guys season it with stuff? Because I could just do what I normally do. Oh, I need to turn my oven up. Uh, okay, Google. 
What's 350 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius? 350 degrees Fahrenheit is 176.667 degrees Celsius. Good. So we're just, over, just under 180. I did over by mistake. Avocado oil, salt and pepper, sometimes they're pepper flakes. Um, oh, yum. I'm gonna, um... See, normally I like... Should I... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss all of this in some oil. Because I'm gonna oven roast the... I'm gonna oven roast the Brussels sprouts, so I kind of want to just fry up the broccoli. I could also oven roast the broccoli. It's nothing stopping me, but I also want to have something you guys can see while that's happening, so. Oh, your uh, Flink's variant of Succotash using... Beagle? What? Uh, onions, garlic, radishes, mushrooms, olives, tomato, roasted cashews, and Brazil nuts. It's amazing. Yeah, it looks really good. I think you should add it as a recipe to the Discord. By the way, guys, do you want me to type up the, the duck recipe that I made? Because, like, most of the recipes I make on stream are vegetable. It's a brand. Oh, it's mixed vegetables. Cool. Because, um, like, most of the recipes I make on stream are things I'm copying or, like, I'm, I'm using a blog recipe. But sometimes I make stuff up. And I don't know if people are interested in reading about it later. Okay, let's get this chopping board cleaned. Those sprouts are almost done. Oh, well, they look it. They're very, very green. Let's clean this board real quick so I don't have to do it later when everything's dried on. Clean as you go. I'm going to put some olive oil on these boys. Actually, do I need to if I'm going to be frying them anyway? Nah, I'll just put. I'll just keep them in that for now. That's fine. Um, the pollo is almost done, but the brussels are very much not, so <laughs> that's fine. I didn't follow a recipe, I just threw it together, had fun making it, and now it's a thing in my head cannon as a regular meal prep thing. Good, I'm just, I just hope you don't stop making it, like, you don't stop making it for a while and then completely forget how to do it, because I did that a couple times with, um, with things I've made. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. But this is why I'm doing it in this pan, because this is my, this is my pan with the, with the thickest bottom, so it's less likely to burn things than ever all, all the other pans. Like I've made risotto in that pan and I've barely stirred it, and it's been fine. Oh man, I do that all the time, and then I forget how to make it. Sometimes that it even existed. Yeah, and then I'll be like, oh. What's that thing I used to make three years ago? Hmm. Let's get some foil down. Foil, re foil. For the Brussels going in the oven. Now this pan is hot, so I'm gonna be very careful. And these sprouts are almost done. Actually, let's give those sprouts a little shimmy shake. Make sure they're evenly cooking. There we go. Oh, they smell so good. They smell like farts, but like, you know it's sprouts, so you're like, it's okay. They smell a bit like farts, but they're sprouty, so it's tasty. Um, and I really shouldn't have put that, these in here, because I'm gonna need this. You know what, let's just... My counter is clean. I'm just gonna put that in the frying pan later. So we'll just uh, give this a rinse out and then we can put the Brussels sprouts in here for seasoning them. Yum, it's a tasty fart smell, it's fine. <laughs> Weirdest sentence I've said recently. Um, you know what, I'm gonna leave this ice cream drink for later because it's very sweet and I actually just want to have this other very sweet thing sneak.
it's dangerously good. Like I, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be so good. I'm having the cherry bomb one. Yeah, I base, I got an, I got a milkshake. It's a Frostino from Costa, which is a coffee chain here. It doesn't have any coffee in it though. It's a, uh, it's it's a mint choc chip. So it's basically, presumably milk, um, maybe ice cream to make it thick. I don't actually know. No, probably just ice to make it thick. Chocolate chips and mint food coloring. M mint and food coloring. And by that I mean mint flavoring. Not actual mint. Um, okay, Google. How much time? You have two timers. The mm -hmm. 30 minute timer is running with 36 seconds. Whoa, there we go. The Almost done. minute timer is running with 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Well, let's... Ugh, sorry. That was a horrible sound. Move that over there for now. Um... I should have just kept these on the cop chop on the on the chopping board. <laughs> I'm having to awkwardly shimmy them around. Um, let me show you Flink's the uh, the dish, and you can tell me whether it's done. It's been on for half an hour. I know it said half an hour to forty minutes, so that's why I'm asking. Stop. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Let the uh, let this come out. It's, I don't think it has xanthan in it because they, they make the dishes, they make it fresh, so it's probably just got like a lot of ice and it's served very cold. Sorry, I'm waiting until the, the, the steam gets pulled away by the. Uh... I think it looks done. smells like something I've had before, but I'm trying to figure out what it is. I think it's the cumin I can smell, so it's making me feel a little bit like it's a curry. I did put a little bit more cumin in. Yeah, there was a tiny bit of liquid before I stirred it. Do you want me to get rid- like, but it looks pretty solid now. See how there's a little bit there? If you can see that. Quick, wipe. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. So I pull it away. A tiny bit at the bottom. It's a little too wet still. Okay, that's fine. I can put it on for 10 more minutes or five more minutes and then check it. Okay, Google, set me a timer for five minutes, please. Second timer for five minutes, starting now. I want it a little drier. Gotcha. Now I know. Right, so Brussels are gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes. Um, once we've seasoned them. And while we do that, we'll fry the broccoli and then we should all be good to go. Oh, but try it. Where's my spoon? I had a spoon for tasting. Where did I put it? Oh, I used it for the chicken. Let me taste it for you. I think I might have overdone it on the cumin. letting it cool because you can see there's a lot of steam. Hold on, let me put it in front of the blackboard so you can see it. Very steamy dish. It's very steamy in here. Oh, there's the Brussels. Stop! Yeah, the rice needs longer. Mm. I feel like it needs something. Maybe more garlic. Joe is very good at this, but he's currently um, building an army. So. It is a little chewy. Maybe it's supposed to be like this then. Sorry, tried to swallow a bit. Trying to figure out what it needs. Oh look, he's not building an army, he's just left the living room. One sec.
That plate is the lid, so use it. Okay, or not. Joe is here to taste it and see what it needs. It's very much a recipe that takes practice. Because it needs something. But I'm trying to work it out. Got a scoop of water? Yeah, there. I've just had a sip of coffee, so. Ah. <laughs> and this is what Joe is good at. He's very good at, at th this. Is, it's actually quite funny while he's, while he's thinking. It's actually quite funny because um, my dad used to do this all the time. He would come through to the living room with a spoon of sauce and go, give it to my mum and go, what does it need? So now I know ex exactly how he feels because I do the same thing. I bring it through and I go, what do I need to add? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it's just cooking off the liquid at this point. I think, I don't know what it is. Either the coffee buggered my taste buds. Mm -hmm. It's not tasting much. Oh. Right now. It might be the coffee. Yeah, it's not super oh. strong. There's no super strong flavours coming through. It's kind of all mellowed out a little bit. So I could add more what's, of every all the seasonings. What does it need to taste like? I don't know. Ask Flinks. Um <laughs> I have infiltrated. Um the so it's got garlic powder and cumin and some of the tomato sauce and stock and lemon pepper and salt and pepper in it like the rice needs to cook more yeah 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 the rice does need to cook more it needs to cool down a bit because i'm not getting it right now because it's too hot it's too hot do you think i should add something just to be safe or do you think i should leave it till we eat what's what kind of cuisine is it i don't want to say <laughs> hold on here's the recipe it's aro con pollo is that spanish Oh, Mexican-American. Mexican-American. There we go. I knew the language was it Spanish. Needs, <laughs> it needs more like herbal spice to it. It needs... It needs, But that might come from it cooling down. Because right yeah. now it's too hot. Okay. But it might need to be just a little bit more... A little bit more of whatever that is. The lemon pepper. Yes. Yeah? Lemon yeah, I pepper, think... A little bit more maybe... Um, cumin. Stop! Just a little bit more cumin. A little bit more sriracha if we have. We're, I didn't put any sriracha in because it's uh, spicy and we don't have any. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Yes, like a yeah, like a tanginess. It needs that sort of like spicy tanginess, sort of pecan sort of thing. Ge oh, generous. Be generous. Be generous with it. More. Nice and generous. More. Yes. More. You've used it. You've made it, so you might as well use it. I'm gonna put some on the Brussels as well. Oh dear. Yeah, it's got to the point where it's 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 not burning, is it? No, it's just it's just hissing. Maybe have a bit with the chicken. More? More? More of this? Yes, more. Oh. It's salt, pepper, and lemon. Yeah, let's be nice. Okay, don't go too crazy though, because nice. I don't want it to overpower it. I understand the origin of the dish is debated between Spain and Puerto Rico, but it's found throughout South and Central America and is the national dish of Peru. Oh, see, there you go. Is that You're what you needed? Nice, zesty. I need to do a bigger like, pinch then. Was a, yeah. so there supposed to be a pinch in there? See, the thing is, with food, food like that, that it, it's it's big, it's bold, it's brash, it's in your face because, from from what I understand, the Mexican culture, it's very sort of like they celebrate food. Their culture is built around food, so you want things to be punchy, you want it to be bold. You want it to have a kick that's going to, you know. That's a lot better. Th this is going to be something. That's a lot better. This is going to be something that would probably be like a centerpiece at a fiesta or something like that. Or not a centerpiece, but like a good, a good sort of like thing to, to sort of build the rest of the fiesta around. Mm -hmm. So you want to have that nice, solid... Look what face. I mean, Flinks is saying... Yeah. He wants to cry. He wants to ugly like, cry. Like, Sorry, I cl I'm cleaning it because we shouldn't be double dipping if we're sharing with someone else. There you go. You got a bit of chicken in that one. That's good. There you go. Yeah. See? So. Should I add some more? Should I add some chili or something to it? Or are we good? It's quite front heavy right now. 
So he's a lot, also a lot more eloquent than me in terms of describing flavors. Cause I just go, it doesn't taste right, like that. And he's like, oh, it needs this, it needs that. Pepper in there. <laughs> I hope we do it justice. No. Don't want to add too much other stuff though. Just because I don't want to change the flavor palette too much. I know. What are you going to add? Well, he's liking it so far. Plus, I don't need to have quite as much of the surprise element with uh, with Joe tasting it this um, this much because we've got a third taste test, a set, well, a third taste Let's, tester. You know what? Should we just leave it for now? I or? Need, need add a bit more water. Okay. Because the rice isn't cooked yet. Um, Slink said the rice should be fluffy but still a bit chewy. That's how it's, it's served. It's not chewy, but it's got a bite. It's too much. It's okay. Too much. It's fine, I'll just add some so more water. I think a little bit of There's water, nothing put in it there. back on the heat, let it sort of steam. Yeah. To cook a bit more. Um. <laughs> Still, um. Make it your own, it's not sacred, it's just our take on it. Okay, so we're allowed to add other stuff. What's in this? Um, lemon, uh, salt, wait, do you mean this or that? This. Uh, lemon, salt, and pepper. Needs more cumin. Needs some more cumin. I was worried I put in too much because when I lifted the lid, it just smelt yeah, like cumin. Yeah. Cumin in there. Stick the bottom now. Was this oh. front hob on? Yes, it was. I forgot that. Sorry. I think it needs. I still have. What? Oh, there's a. I was gonna. I was gonna say there's another lemon over there. But this is just a tiny little bit. Oh yeah, go for it. So he's putting in lemon juice because I know you guys can't see what he's doing. Ooh, messy. Yeah. That's going to give it a nice bit of freshness, that nice sharp acidity to cut through the cumin. Okay, so you still want me to put that water in? Yes, put a little bit. I'll do. Then we'll just give that a nice little. Because this feels like a Mexican dish that. Everybody knows how to make, but the recipe is just a little bit different each time, which would be the equivalent of stovies here. Yes. So this is what it feels like. This feels like Mexican stovies. <laughs> yeah, I mean that makes and sense. That's my philosophy. So. I mean, this is this is specifically his family's recipe yeah. that we're making. It's different from other families. Just smell that now. Smell that now. Not there. Aromatic, mm -hmm. lovely, zesty, with a little bit of earthy heat from the cumin. That is what we need from this. This is why I got you in here, thank so, you. Let's put the lid back on. Yeah, put the lid back on. I'll leave it five minutes. That should be you. Okay. That should be you for that. Well, well then that'll just have to stay warm in the pan because I'm gonna have to make all the rest of it. Thank you very much, honey. Win, go and win. And that's where we get Joe in. That was Joe, everybody. Round of applause. Round of applause for Joe. Um, <laughs> so these are nice and steamed. Maybe a bit over steamed now because they've been sitting in the water, sitting in the uh, in the pan. Ah no! Fan's <laughs> stolen him back. How dare! Yeah, Joe gets a feel for stuff. I I get very interested in flavors, but I don't know how to explain what I mean. Whereas Joe is a lot better at explaining flavors and what 
what fits with what and stuff a lot better. Because I just go, hmm, yes, that needs more vinegar, but I can't explain why. I just know it does, you know? Right, so, we're now making the Brussels sprouts again. Here's the recipe, if you need it. Um, we are going to add olive oil, garlic powder, and I'm going to put in the lemon, the lemon pepper instead of salt and pepper, because I kind of want to, like, bring it in together. Oh, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Set me a timer for four minutes, please. All right, four minutes. And that's starting now. There we go. Putting in that olive oil. Little bit of garlic powder. Whoa, that kind of just went everywhere. And... bunch of this lemon pepper. I need to find a lid. This is usually how I just, uh, how I, if I'm like making roasted chickpeas or something, it's the easiest way to do it. Just get a bit of Tupperware. You don't have to faff around with a bowl. Check if it's got, if they look seasoned enough. Oh, that smells good because the lemon pepper. Oh my goodness, that's going to be nice. A bit more of that. We want that to be strong. If you have a family recipe you'd like me to try, use your redemption points or put it in our Discord. And if you like the sound of it, if you put it in the Discord and I like the sound of it, I might give it a go. If you use your redemption points, I will give it a go. Right. I'm gonna try one of these. Still very hot. Oh, that's good. Mmm! A little bit too salty, but that's okay. Right. So. I'm now gonna do this. And we're gonna get it's the flattest cup I have. Mm, that one's pretty flat. I'll use this one. Speaking of redemption points, thank you for adding to the uh, Charlie's Angels fund. Like I've said, I've promised that if I um, if I don't hit it by the end of the month, I will make next month's challenge the same, but with less points. So whatever's left on the total. So don't worry about it being done this time. Um, smash them into flat pieces and then put Parmesan cheese into each of the tops of the Brussels sprouts. So I just want to keep eating these. They're really good. Oh, that was a really big one. Oh, oh well. I meant to. Oh. Let's try and turn them all face down. Like, ends down. So it's easier to smush them. They're just getting stuck. <laughs> Maybe I should do it this way up. So they like, they're open a bit more. Yeah, that's better. Let's smash them like that. Let me zoom in a bit because it's hard for you to see what I'm doing right now. Hold them like that. Just push them all over there. So I can evenly space them. You know what? Let's stop using my water glass because I can't you can't actually see what I'm doing. And let's get a glass where you can. So you can see through it. Mm. Do I have a good glass? for that because it's clean okay this glass is mostly clean your zest for the joys of cooking makes me such a happy human being well I'm glad stop because that's what I'm here to encourage can't quite see smash oh no the middle part came out <laughs> alright hold on that is the the rice to check on the rice. Ooh. 
Yeah, I think that's time to take it off the heat. So that's starting to stick more than I want. Where's my tasting spoon? Again, gotta keep cleaning it because if we're having someone else try the food, we don't want to double dip. okay the rice still feels a little bit underdone well I think it's good ha, hoo, ha. Aww. I hope it's a good wibble flinks I hope it's a good wibble I'm gonna keep the lid on that until we're ready to serve just to keep it warm. We're gonna keep smashing these brussels now. Because we need to spoon parmesan on them. I haven't even done the parmesan yet. We'll get to it. Oh, look at that baby boy. A baby one. Oh. oh no, a bit fell out. I have to eat it. What a shame. They could see I know I said it was too salty either earlier, but that one wasn't that salty at all. But the parmesan will balance that, I'm sure. Also, yes, Flinks, you should definitely make your own lemon pepper. I don't know how long it'll last. Because like obviously it doesn't have preservatives and stuff. But you should do it. I'm gonna stop trying to get them the right way up and I'm just gonna smash them as is. And hope that that's gonna work out for me because otherwise we're gonna be here all day smash that brussel welcome to smash that brussel our contestants today the challenge today is to smash as many brussel sprouts as you can in the allotted time the a lot of time being before you get hungry. Too late, I'm already hungry. <laughs> Your timer starts now. You have all of these little leaves hanging around. You know what, I'm gonna eat this one, it's too small. It's the best kind of wibble. Good. I'm liking this lemon pepper though. That's gonna be a staple of something that I have more. See if I can find it. They might have it in like the big shops. They might be able to might be able to source some once mine runs out. Squeeze. You know what, I'm just gonna put all of the leaves back into this tub. Because I'm worried they're gonna burn. Squeeze. I love Russell Sprouts, also hi. Hello, Warren Cooks. Can we get a shout out for Warren Cooks, please? If any of my mods are awake. Mm -hmm. We are we're making Parmesan garlic smashed Brussels sprouts because I thought we'd go for something a bit different rather than just um, roasting them like I normally do. We're having it with um, arroz con pollo, which is currently in the pan. It is done. So I am trying to speed through this a little bit because I need to get this done and I need to cook some broccoli as like sides, as options. In German they are named Rosenkohl, Rosenkohl sorry, which literally means rose cabbage. I mean they look like little cabbages so it makes sense. I did um... I, did, I don't know where I saw it, if it was on a stream or on a uh, YouTube video or a TV show, but I saw someone talking about making little okonomiyakis, but with Brussels sprouts. And I was like, that's such a cute idea. I think it might have been around Christmas. 
still haven't done it, but I thought it could be fun. But I love Brussels sprouts so much. I was trying to make these pretty, but you know how it is. I'm just running out, I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna... Why do you cook like you're running out of time? Because I am. I'm not running out of time. I don't actually have a time limit. It's just I don't want my food to get too cold. Right. So. There we go. There, there we go. We've uh, smashed up the Brussels sprouts, so now we need to add the Parmesan. Now, in the recipe, she's added um, a spoonful of Parmesan to each of them. I'm sorry, my nose is running. Ah, um, better go catch it. So, but I might just, should I just, I could grate it just over it, because it's almost like a little blanket of Brussels sprouts at this point. Um, so I'm trying to decide what's the best idea. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, sorry, hold on. Sorry about that, I had to blow my nose. Um, it was just getting a bit out of hand. It's a mix of super happy for watching people I really like, engrossed in making delicious things, super whistle from all the childhood memories of enjoying, of enjoying the rice with family and friends, and subtle sadness being over 68,000 kilometers away so I can't gush in person and cook even more food for y'all. It's okay, I'll just cook it through the internet. Should I, should I do this into a bowl? What do you guys think? I could. And then I could scoop it. Yeah, I think I will. Because that's what I'm supposed to do in the recipe, so. Plus, that'll, that'll actually I'll be, mean I'll use less overall. Because I won't have to keep... I won't have to go over the whole thing and hit all those empty spaces. I can just measure it per per brussel. I almost don't want to make these cheesy because I don't want to like... You know what? I'll make half of them cheesy and I'll make half of them not cheesy because I feel like the ch parmesan is quite overpowering and I don't want to like ruin the flavour of the brussel. Plus, I've got mostly bigger ones on this side of the pan, so more space for the parmesan. And then while these are in the oven, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to... This is why I liked having them turned upside down rather than sideways, because like it gives me more area to put cheese on. But we're going to... Um, We go. We're only doing half of them. We're going to fry the broccoli and the Brussels sprout leaves in the pan while we uh, wait for these to cook. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of these before they go. They look so good. I'm going to take one more. Mm. They definitely have still have a bit of their bitterness, but. Hopefully that'll be gone when these are done. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Set me a timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes. That's starting now. Right, so we're gonna be cooking. We're just gonna fry this stuff. So I'm just gonna get some butter to fry it in. Get the induction hob back out. Cause we're almost done. Guys, we're almost done already. It's so weird doing short streams, like I just don't understand, but it does mean I don't burn out as quickly. Which is always a bonus. I've just got all of the little Brussels sprout leaves that fell off over here. In case anyone's wondering why there's so many leaves. Nope, butter doesn't live in the freezer. That's not right. <laughs> okay. 
and the frying pan, which I believe is in the dishwasher. I'm only going a bit quicker now because I'm aware that the Brussels are in the, it's not in the dishwasher, are in the oven and I don't want to have them in for too long. Here's the frying pan. Should I do, no, I'm just going to do them in oil. I'm not going to add butter. Go for eight. I want to cook these pretty quick. I also don't have any garlic left, so we can't even put garlic in with them, which is very weird. Because normally I would always put garlic in with my broccoli, but and now I'm gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna eat the last bits of Brussels sprouts that were left in the pot in the pot. Yum yum. Lemony. Mm -mm -mm. Those Brussels sprouts. I don't care what goes on them. What's your favorite way to cook Brussels sprouts? It's tender stem broccoli, yeah. I also cut them in half a little bit because they were too, they were too wide. Mm. Wait, how did that get in there? How did that little leaf get in there? I did it for the first time this year. Ooh. I love tender stem broccoli. Oh my god, my nose is so red because I had to blow my nose. It's like, if I can get it over real, pro uh, over normal broccoli, I will. When baked in the oven, yeah, I normally, um, I normally coat them in like balsamic vinegar and oil, and then just roast them from from raw. But I'm following a recipe today, so I decided to just do what the recipe wanted. We're gonna just roast fry even all of these get more oil in there I think salt and pepper them just regular salt and pepper this time not the lemon pepper it's probably too much oil make them super tasty and then we're gonna have them on the side now how do you serve oh ar arroz con pollo like, do you have it just in a big dish? Do you have like a spoonful on a plate? Like, I mean, I, obviously I can just serve it in whatever way I want, I assume, but how would you serve it? Uh, no, the, uh, sorry. It's the main that I'm making to go with this, arroz con pollo. It's a chicken and rice dish. I was asking, uh, Flinks, who's the one who gave me the recipe, how you would serve it normally. I do have some garlic oil. I could add that as well, that would give it more of a garlic flavor. No, it's okay. It's all right, I didn't, maybe didn't phrase the question properly. There we go. I know there's already a lot of oil in there, but. I just wanna give it a bit more flavor. Oh, don't worry, I do that all the time. Like, a lot of the streamers that I like watching, or a lot of the uh, cooking streamers that I want to support, 
will all stream at the same time and I'm like, ah, help, what do I do? So I have to like put on like all of them at once. All right, don't mind me, I'm just tidying up while the, while the broccoli fries. Let's get that uh, a little bit of a lower heat now. Starting to steam up the, the whole kitchen, we don't need that. Also in multiple languages. Jeez, that's impressive. I mean, there's a lot of, um, there can be a lot of, like, dead air in cooking streams, I find. Like, not in a bad way, but, like, while you're concentrating on s on a part of the recipe or you're, um... I guess it's the same with all streams, not just cooking streams. You're not gonna fall, are you? No, you're good. Um, so, it's easy, er, it's, it'll, it's, I find it easier to watch cooking streams, multiple cooking streams at once, because I'm just going, like... When they actually when they say something, I can like zone into one or the other. Sorry, I'm just getting everything out of the way, cleaning everything up a little bit. Cause it's almost time to serve, you know. That's my stuff for the stock later. Garlic powder. My lemon pepper. Yeah, I think everything else is good. Also, I'm thinking about the next step, and I'm not much of a talker in general. Oh yeah. Like, I definitely don't want people people to think that I'm like complaining. That's the trouble. It's over when we're trying to listen to them all. Yeah, like um. Just the other day, I was watching. Who was it? It was two- I can't remember who it was, but it was two different cooking streamers who started at the same time. So I was like, I'm gonna watch both of them. Can I borrow some D6s? Yeah, sure. Uh, take the ones from the, the pink bag rather than the other ones. Okay guys, I think we're almost done. I'm turn this heat down. And just let them fry out. that. Sorry, yeah, so I was listening to two cooking streamers at once and I kept, they had similar accents, so I kept like um, thinking one of them was commenting on something and then I found out it was the other one. But it was quite, it was, it was fairly easy to keep up because it was only two, but I feel like if I was watching all of the streamers who went live at the same time, I would be screwed because there's so many. A lot of people go live at the same time is what I'm trying to say. And then I'm like, but I want to support all of you, what do I do? So. Um, whereas I just have a very weird time slot. <laughs> three is rough. I've not tried three yet. Only one or two. But it is good having two because sometimes I find that having one person be my sole focus, especially if it's a, a quieter person, I'm like, okay, I need something else. It's like how I normally watch streams while I'm doing something. Like a lot of you guys. I don't have enough screen space too. Four is hard to follow. Oh geez, yeah. Especially if they're not, they're all doing different things or are all different, very different people, you know? I think I'm gonna add, oh, there's a lot of fat in the pan, but I kind of want to add some butter because it feels like it needs butter. This is what I mean. I can never, I can't explain why I want to do things the way I do, but I just, I just know that I do, you know? I can't, I can never explain why. <laughs> I zoned out what's going on now. We are just frying the broccoli, waiting for the Brussels sprouts in the oven to cook, and then we're good to go. We're good to serve. So, very exciting. I'm just frying up some broccoli. I've basically just seasoned this with salt and pepper, and I put a bit of garlic oil in. Oh, there we go. That's the Brussels. Stop! And now I'm going to add some butter because I feel like it needs it. Critical thinking is the key to what? success. What was that? You what? are my fave stream on Twitch. Stop making me happy cry all the damn time. Stop making me happy cry. No. I'm your favorite stream. Oh, Flinks. That's so sweet. Thank you. That's really nice of you to say. And now I'm going to ruin your favorite dish. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm joking. Um, thank you so much. And thank you for that 33. Oh, was that so it hit 50? Thank you so much. It's right, it is nice to see you. 
That's why the goal says that. It is lovely to see. <laughs> Thank you, Flame. Critical thinking is the key to success. Another puzzle solved. I think I'm going to add, like, alternating tech, like, audio. So he says different things, depending. Whoa. Well, the parmesan didn't crisp up. It just kind of melted onto the Brussels sprout. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back in, turn up the heat. Okay, Google. Set me a timer for five minutes. Oh, okay, Google. Set me a timer for five minutes, please. All right, five minutes. Starting now. I kind of want to cook off. There's a lot of fat on these. There's a lot of oil and butter and nonsense going on. So, plus I think I'll add something. I'm going to add something right at the end. But what? I mean, I could just do more of the lemon pepper. I do like that stuff, but I think it might be a bit much having all of them flavors of lemon pepper. It needs something though. So it'll be too... Um, I think the flavor's going to be too flat if I just serve it like this. More cooking. More cooking. So, Flinks, what do you have with it? Like, do you have side dishes or do you just have it as, like, a meal all on its... Like, just, that's the whole thing. It can be a side. Ooh. Not more cooking? On a cooking stream? Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've started... Um, I've decided to start doing something, and I started doing it this week. Uh, at the beginning of my stream title, I've now put a little symbol. It's either going to be a controller or like a pot of food or a cookie. And it's like to kind of symbolize... So if you see me go live, you can see exactly what I'm doing right off the bat whether I'm doing a gaming stream or a cooking stream. Just that's why there's a little emoji right at the front. Just as a little code for you. It pairs nicely with salsa. We make fresh chunky salsa and top the rice with that. Very interesting. That sounds really good. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to eat this. I wouldn't be able to, I would be able to eat the salsa, but Joe wouldn't. So otherwise I would have, I could have done that. That would have been fun. Just trying to cook this broccoli through, make sure it's actually cooked without burning all of the Brussels sprout leaves. Cause they look like they're getting a little bit done, don't they? And the Brussels sprouts in the ovens are oven aren't done because they're uh, they're just kind of melting the cheese rather than um, actually getting crispy. Cause they were very soggy. Here it is. You know what? No, I'm gonna leave the lid on it for a bit longer just to keep the heat in. We have it aside, we pair it with anything, but we'd love it with enchilada tacos and grilled ribs. You know what, we're probably going to have some left over. And I could probably convince Joe for us to have like enchiladas or tacos some point this week. Speaking of, I know I already mentioned it, but I kind of just brushed over it because something else happened. Um, ow! I splashed myself with oil. Um, we... I need to have... I need to find a slow cooker dish to have tomorrow for... Because I'm playing D&D. So what we do when I'm playing when we're playing D&D unless we're doing it in the evening is we start the slow cooker before the game and then by the time the game is ended there's a nice big pot of food for us which is also what I did on uh, Wednesday. So I really love the slow cooker. It's so useful. We make big batches of it and eat it over an entire week. It does feel like that kind of dish. Like Joe said it's kind of like stovies in that way because that's kind of what you do with stovies. I love stovies. I need to make more stovies. No, I also like. I also like scurly. And I haven't had scurly in a long time. I should try and make it. Bob, can I just say, um, I really appreciate you sharing a family recipe with me. That was, it's really nice. That it's like, it's not just, here's a dish you could try. It's like, here's how my family do it. And I really appreciate that. Um, I think that's really fun to like, ha try different, dishes from different families all over the world because obviously every family does something different like 
I could look up a risotto recipe, for example, but it would be much more fun to try a risotto recipe exactly how, like, someone in the chat's mum used to make it, you know? I think that's really cool. I think these are done now. Let's get that. I'm gonna put that over here. Turn this off. Because it's gonna start beeping at me. And I'm gonna put away the induction hob. Well, I'm gonna let it cool down first. Wipe up all of the grease. This is kind of splashed all over my computer. Which is another reason my stream deck is good being up on the shelf. Stop! Because it's uh, not gonna get splashed. Well, hopefully, let's, hopefully we all enjoy it. I mean, Joe seemed to like it from what he tasted, so hopefully he still enjoys it once it's finished and all served together. Obviously the Parmesan Brussels sprouts aren't really traditional. Drafting up the writing was new. Oh yeah, no, I totally get that. Like I made uh, like chicken noodle soup a bunch. And then I was like, I should write this down in case I forget it, because of the aforementioned I will forget this recipe if I don't write it down thing. Um, so I did, but I was like, what do I do with it? I don't remember how I make it. So I had to like go through the steps and make it before I could write it down. I would never be very... I used to have a food blog, can you believe it? I don't think I'd be good at that now. Ha ha ha! Brussels. Oh, that went too far. You can't see it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Danny, enjoy your lurk. There you go. Look at that. Crispy boys. I'm happy with that. Right, let's um, let's get this plated up, shall we? I need to make three plates. But first, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this over here so it can cool down, so I can taste it. So we've got the fried broccoli. We've got the actual rice itself. I'm gonna need to make three plates but we'll just start with the first one I have taken to recording recipes in one note to make for easy archiving fun fact <sighs> recording my recipes was the entire reason I started streaming like sort of um, I started streaming because well it's a long story that I won't go into but um, basically I, w I was talking I was making food from the reduced section of the supermarket because I was trying to save money. So I was always I was going to the supermarket and then trying to make something ready, steady, cook style. And I was kind of talking to myself. I was like, it's like I'm on a TV show and I was talking to myself, um, having a good time with it. And then I thought, I wonder if I could dream this so I'm not talking to myself. And I started doing it and that is why. But it's kind of because I didn't want to lose track of what I was making. I wanted to kind of have a record of it. So I was writing it down, but I was like, oh, but I enjoy talking out loud more. Should I record myself? So, and that's why we're here. And uh, almost five years later, I'm still here. Where is it? I need a spoon. There it is, there's a spoon. Skip that. Love when the dishwasher doesn't actually come out clean. It comes out dirtier than when you put it in. That's my favorite part of having a dishwasher. All right, we're gonna add a really generous spoonful of this though. What time is it? It's about, it's six o'clock. That's a good time to eat dinner. Which means, hey, didn't I say it would be a three hour stream? Three and a half hour stream? Here it is. Ladies and gentle folks. Kapow. I smell very cuminy, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, I can turn the oven off too. I hope it hasn't dried out sitting in the pan this whole time. Lots of us appreciate your decision to take this culinary and performance journey. Well, I'm glad you do. I'm glad people enjoy my, my content. Because I am here to uh, entertain and I wouldn't say educate necessarily but just you know well one of the things I started off wanting to do was to open everyone to be like look at all the things you can make that looks perfect wonderful 
Like, look at all this stuff you can make. Um, you know, you don't have to be scared of cooking. Because I had some friends who would literally, they never cooked for themselves. Which I'm not saying I judge people for, by the way. I want to be very clear on that. We've had conversations about this before, but, but they would never cook for themselves. They would only ever order or, like, make oven pizza or whatever. So I, um, inspired, that's a good word, yes. Um, but when I asked them why, it wasn't that they didn't know how to it's that they couldn't be bothered which is also fine but i was like but if you did know how would you want to nom 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 it looks pretty good i'm gonna actually let's do the broccoli first i think that's gonna be more impressive oh no the tongs in the dishwasher i don't know if impressive is the right word but it'll look nicer side like that. Ta-da! It is pretty cool because it's like it's long grain rice but it's still kind of you know it doesn't look like long grain rice anymore it looks like maybe risotto rice. I'm gonna take some pictures like this and then I'm gonna um, put the uh, Brussels sprouts on too. This is my Instagram moment. Sorry guys it takes me a minute. Like, it doesn't, the color, you know, it's just kind of all one color, but that's the kind of, that's the best dishes. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not super pretty, like some of the things. I'm going to try this Parmesan Brussels sprout. Mmm. Oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Let's add some, should we put some Brussels on the top? <laughs> One Brussel sitting atop. There you go. Now it looks a little, pre little prettier. <laughs> it's like adding a herb. At the it's like adding a leaf of something on the top. Right, well, I'm going to go and interrupt the war game that's happening in the other room. If they'll allow me to get uh, Joe to taste test. So bear with me one second, guys. I think they're strategizing right now, so I can't steal them yet, but I can taste it first. Yeah, Grompy, tell them the armies march on their tummies, fools. <laughs> it's not a vibrant dish, but it's a flavorful and satisfying dish for your gullet. Let's hope. I, well, I mean, I'm gonna like it because I've tasted it throughout, but it's nice, I want some. Oh, my hand's shaking. I think I'm just on a nerve. Let me sort that. That's better. It looks really good. I'm excited for it. I just wanted to make a couple of sides for it. That's why we've just got random vegetables. Um, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a brussel. Well, the brussel sprouts. They're gonna be good. Um, I don't really want to mess up the presentation. I'll try a bit from the side. Ah. Mm. Oh, it's a little chewy. But like an oh. Oh, that is so warming. I don't know what it was, but I was like, mm, yeah, the rice is good. And then something hit my tongue and I was like, Okay, this is comfort food. I think I'd like it a little softer, like less chewy, but that's just how I how I feel about it, you know? That's just how I'm, my palate is used to, I guess, because, oh, I caught that. I wasn't expecting to catch that. Mm. I know what it was, it was a bit of the chicken. I got a bit of chicken and it was like, yes. 
So do you like, do you buy shredded chicken or do you use chicken that's like, do you use chicken that you've made already the day before or whatever? No, I think, I think it is the, like, it's the texture that you described. I think it's just, I want it squishier because I'm used to, like, the consistency of risotto. Or, like, stovies, which are basically just paste. That is so good. Joe was so right to add that stuff that he added. I'm gonna have some broccoli. Mmm. Yeah. So... Oh my god. I mean that broccoli is just- it's just fried broccoli. It's a little bit oily. That's my fault. But it's very good. Uh. Taste test time. Ooh, wonderful. Oh, I did. So, um, broccoli, obviously. Those are regular. Those are the parmesan ones. And then, obviously, you don't have to have it together, I just put it there to look pretty. And then the actual dish itself is underneath. So the Brussels sprouts were steamed and then they were baked with, the plain ones were baked with salt, sorry, the lemon pepper and some oil. So they're quite, they're quite plain. Oh, nice. Brock. A big brock. We use rotisserie chicken to save time, but I've taken to favouring thigh meat. That's why I got mm. pre-made thigh, pre-cooked thighs. But if I was doing a whole, a big batch, I'd probably use a whole chicken. So you can't really, I think if I go to the bigger shops, I can get a pre-cooked chicken from their like hot food area. Huh. Oh. oh, poops. What do you think of the Parmesan ones? They're really nice. Yeah, there's quite a lot of those. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah. And then you get a bit of chicken. Mm. It's like, it just feels really homely. That's what I was mm. saying. Oh, that wow, that's is, a lot of chicken, actually. I'll let you have that bit. Really? No, you have it. Okay. That is really, really nice. It was hot, though. <laughs> mm. I could have shredded this bit. Mm. This bit's a bit big, because it's, um, it's chewy, because it's... Set cooking for the second time. Mm, that's like some really nice hearty hearth and home style cooking. That is so good. And the rice is um, the right like I was saying, the, the rice is supposed to be a little chewy. And I was saying that my I'm I'm expect when I take a mouthful, I'm expecting it to be like risotto, and it's very like soft, but it works really well. It's like a Mexican risotto. Really. Mm -hmm. mm. That's gorgeous. Yeah, and you chopped it into chunks. I saw you said that when your message. And I thought about doing that because I did also buy chicken thighs uncooked. Mm. But then I had enough from the cooked stuff, so it was fine. Mm. That's really nice. I think. I'll try it, it with no vessel. It something else. What do you mean? Like in the actual. Lime. It needs lime. Do you want me to get some? We've got lime juice. We could just add a little bit. No, no, no. It needs, it needs lime through it. So, like, because it is Mexican, it needs that bit of lime just to lift it. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Mm. Take these off the top. And I would prefer the rice cooked a little bit longer. Yeah, that's what I was so saying too. Less bitey. Mm. Oh, that mouthful was good. Mm. Yeah, flanks. So it's your recipe, lemon. That's your preference. I think for me, I associate these kind of flavors with that nice sharp acidic lime flavor yeah we can make it with lime for yeah, we should make really, it again it worked really really well with it um, i didn't even use like like um hold on we still have half a jar left. so i didn't even use like all the whole jar for this and it's made all of this pan <laughs> that's glorious that is really good thank you for sharing it with us thanks I think I would want to add, I would want to have some like charred peppers with it, mm -hmm. like to either put on top or have a side, because I want, I want, if, if I was, if I was making this, mm -hmm. I would want to really celebrate that Mexican style of eating, um, having maybe some 
charred flatbreads, Ooh. peppers, um, another one of these. Maybe like tortillas or tacos or something that you can have with it to complement it. Well, funny. Because right now it's very same texture. Yeah. Obviously, this is this is really quick. This is this is like this is a this is a midweek meal. Clearly. Yeah. That's you know something you'll just uh, can't be bothered making anything. I'll make this. But if you're wanting to make it and celebrate it, or... we've been um, talking about how it would be served. Apparently, it's often a side, mm. and then you have like tacos or enchiladas with it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So I was thinking that would be really good because there's loads left, and I thought if we don't finish it today. Basically, um, folks were saying they usually make a really, really big batch, yeah. and then they have it for um, for for the you know a week, but they have other stuff with it, and it's just like another thing to add. I would love to see what this was like, like raised beef, actual cooked beef. Like in it or just on the side? Yeah. Of it? Oh. Well, no, like, well, it's a bit mix the beef in, in the last moment. Okay, yeah. Because you imagine that really sort of that nice rich salty red meat flavor with that mm. it just falls apart in your mouth as you're eating it that's that is probably what you want with it because right now i think that chicken is just a tad overdone yeah but to be fair i didn't cook it the first time i bought it pre-cooked yeah, so it's yeah. probably they probably overcooked it when they made it i'm gonna blame them so yeah i, I would love i would love to have this with a lot more Mexican spices, lime, um, maybe even just like cooking the chicken alongside it, mm-hmm, and then adding it, and then adding it over the last minute, That's and then kind of having like those, saying. or maybe like having like the, the soaking the rice in chicken stock or something beforehand, mm. just or cooking it in chicken stock. Yeah, I had to. It's supposed to be chicken stock, but we ran out. So I had to use veggie stock. To really just embolden the flavour. Yeah, so bear in mind that mm. it is based on be- veggie stock rather than chicken stock, so that's probably a little mm. caused a bit of a... I definitely have this now. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. There you go, Flanks, you've, you've given us a recipe. If I was making it, like, mm-hmm. I would definitely have it as a... Like stone roasted flatbreads that you can wrap it up in, and you'd do mm. like a nice punnet of cherry tomatoes that you'd... Um, char as Ooh, well. Yeah. You roast in the oven, char it, have it sitting on top when you present it. Twist a line over the uh, line over the top. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Um, Flanks was also sure. saying they they tend to have it with freshly made salsa. Yes, yes. So they'll have salsa on the top. Mm. Um, you should get a recipe. You get better at the more you practice. Yeah, especially because you'll be we'll, we'll be adding whatever flavors we fancy. Um, okay, you go have a good dinner. I hope it I hope it goes well. I hope it goes as well as this did because this is yummy. Okay, thank you. All right. Well, there we go. There you have it. Taste tested by none other than the Joe. Um, it could have failed the flavor a little. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. It's. A, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not sorry for the short stream, but um. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of short, shorter cooking stream. I just want to keep eating these Parmesan Brussels sprouts. They're not like, I could have maybe dried out the sprouts a bit more. Like maybe roasted them for a bit before adding the cheese because they've kind of just absorbed the cheese. But I mean, look at this plate. It's almost clean. And that's just because I haven't picked out the rest of it yet. Um, Is this cool enough to pick up? Yes, it is. So you can see what we've see what we've done let me move this so you can get a nice get, get a nice view of everything that we've made today and now i got the diabetes and i have sorry is that that's that's why you did it though right you cut out the sugar from your life so that you could watch the stream more right i'm sure that was why you did it i thought that's what you said <laughs> so um ta-da, this is what we made today let me scooch that a little bit so we've got the arroz con pollo in here very nice We've got parmesan and regular Brussels sprouts, and we've got just some broccoli, which was just a side. And we have the homemade lemon pepper that we made, which I'm going to be using for everything because it's really nice. And that's it. That's the that's the stream, guys. That's a wrap. Um, let's see who's live. I'm not going to leave just yet, but I want to see who else is cooking, who else is doing their thing right now. Um, well, 
Copper's live, of course. Let's see who else is live. Spice sweet potato soup. Me! Oh, Cosmic Cat's live. A pretzel croc on bouche with beer cheese drizzle. Now that sounds good. I don't know, there's so many people live right now. Mmm, food experiments live. Ah, okay. Um, honestly, Cosmic Cat's... Uh, Cosmic Cat's um, making me hungry, so I think we should go to Cosmic Cat today. So I'll leave her stream up and then we can make sure that... Yeah, I think she's going to be a while because she's making a croc en bouche with pretzels, so she's going to be building for a while. Um, I just want to keep it there, so just to make sure it doesn't go offline. Can we raid Purple Coffin? She's on cooking and it looks delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Cake. I appreciate it. Trying to, trying to, um, guide my raid from my own, to, to my own stream. That's a, it's a bit of, <laughs> quite a funny play. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to leave. I guess, you know, we could, we could, I'll see how tired I am after the stream. I'm feeling a little bit drained, but that might just be because, you know, it's getting late and I'm hungry. More than anything else, I mean, we could maybe do another stream. Shh, computer. Shh. It's telling me my drivers need updating. Go away. Let me know what Bubble Buddy thinks of the food. I will do. I can't. Um, unfortunately, last time the food was just brought through to Faye, but uh, this time they're playing war games. They can't exactly eat right now. They could, but it would be kind of like picking and then eat playing. So, war games. Um, yeah, what am I saying? I'm super curious to hear about everyone's any anyone's thoughts. No rush. I will let you know. I'll send you a message on Discord once uh, once it's been tasted. And I was gonna say something, but I forgot what it was. Oh yes, I was gonna say. Okay, so let's just act as if this is the last stream of the week. I may set up everything to play more Planet Zoo later, but we'll see how I feel if I'm super tired or I get invested in having conversations with our guest. I may just wrap up the stream here and that's that, but I'm not going to say it. So keep an eye on Twitter. That's what I'll say. Keep an eye on Twitter because I'll post if I'm going to go live again, but I might not because I didn't earlier in the week when I said I could, I might. So don't hold me to anything. Um, <laughs> but I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Thanks for um, choosing to stay on my stream, hang out with me. Um, I really appreciate it. I know there's a lot of food and drink creators now and it means a lot to me that some of you guys have been here for such a long time or even if you haven't been here for a long time if you've just found me and you're just you're a newbie on the channel I love you just as much you're welcome to stay here and have a bite to eat for dinner um so today we made a rose con pollo from Slinks's family recipe um there are some tweaks I'd like to do to it but for the most part it's a very good base recipe um that I could see myself making again and just like well, getting a lid from my pan more to the point we made um parmesan brussels sprouts and we just made just regular old fried broccoli nothing fancy going on there um with the brussels sprout leaves so that they didn't go to waste so they're all really crispy now and um yeah so i'm trying to think if there's anything else i want to say i hope you guys have a good weekend that's one of the things I want to say. Um, next week, we're going to be making the D&D cook-along. So it's uh, three recipes from the Dungeons and Dragons Heroes Feast cookbook. It's the official cookbook. Don't worry if you can't cook along at the time. You're still welcome to just come and watch. Um, and if you can't do either of those, uh, but if you can't watch at the time but you want to cook along, the VOD will, just, will be up for two weeks as it normally is. So you can just watch, um, pause it whenever you need, skip ahead if you need to, because I realise that I'm going to be probably rambling a lot so I won't always be actually actively cooking um but we're gonna be making butterscotch pudding uh onion uh onion soup I hope the butter I don't actually know how long the butterscotch pudding takes to set I should probably check that out um onion soup and bangers and smash so that's probably gonna be easy just basically whatever sausages you like to eat and smash potatoes and some stuff with them it's gonna be fun um i'm very excited i've been wanting to do this for a while i was supposed to do it like two months ago but it just kept being pushed back because of other streams that were bigger events um and actually can i can i talk about it yet i don't know if i can 
There's something special happening the week after that on Friday. I'm not gonna give you guys any details yet because the things have to be finalized, but something exciting is happening. Um, but I will be live at this, I think I might be live an hour early, but it's the same, I'll, I'll be live on Friday, the week after, just whatever. Anyway, um, I'm really enjoying doing the extra evening streams. So if you guys wanna see me do more of those, let me know. I'm basically just really in a streaming kick right now and I'm really enjoying myself and I'm trying, maybe it's because I'm not doing super long Friday streams, so I'm not getting burned out, maybe, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Let's go and raid Cosmic Cat. I think she's still going, yeah. I think she's trying out. I don't know what's going on right now, but that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna make, I'm just making sure I wrote it right. Thank you, of course, to my Patreon supporters: Ego, Hippie People Guy, Kirsty, Luco, Maggot, Pete, Samuel Show, and Sketchy. Um, if you want to support me on Patreon, the link is down below in my panels. But you can also just type exclamation mark Patreon. All of the money that comes from Patreon goes towards ingredients. Um, sometimes I go over the budget, which is actually quite common recently. Um, but basically, yeah, so all of them, and if I don't, but if I am under budget, then the other stuff just gets put back and put aside for next month or whatever. So all of my, um, all of my Patreon supporters basically mean I can keep making food for you all. So I hope we should, we should all thank them because that means I can keep making content. Um, let's do a quick, uh, credits because I've just realized that I haven't run the credits yet. I like food! Oh, cake, yes. Um, so thank you for the tips from Flakes, for Luco, and the bots for being here, for the hosts from Chef Summer, and for everyone for just being here and hanging out. I appreciate all of you so much. So, so, so much. Thank you again to Flinks for this really nice recipe. We're almost out of time, so remember to stay, f stay safe, have a good weekend, wear your mask, wash your hands, hydrate yourself, make sure to eat something, um, take your medication, and please be wonderful people and be excellent to each other. I love all of you, my little rainbow nibblings. I will probably not see you tonight, but we maybe will, and have a good weekend. I will see you on Tuesday for more Planet Zoo. I love you all. Goodbye!